Hendersonville is a great ball club, and they're going to give them all they can handle. I, I can't agree. I, you know, uh, looks like maybe Maribel may get underway tonight. They're in their first game. What do you think about them? Yeah, taking on Bradley Central, you know, I mean, it shouldn't be too, too big of a test for him. Got to like that but tailback from Bradley Central. He is a, yes. a shifty guy that can get around. We saw him play against Phillip, and I saw him play against Maribel earlier in the season. They did a real good job the first half, but then yeah. the second half they just – you know, it, you got to play four quarters. Absolutely. And, I mean, Bradley Central is a school that's traditionally always been able to run the ball. They have a very good offensive line year in and year out. This year, that tailback out there is probably the best one they've had in the last ten years or so, I'd say. And, uh, you know, if they're going to pull this out tonight, they're going to have to control the clock. I know they're already down seven to nothing, though, as you just said. Yeah, and uh, we can't wait. Uh, everybody's kind of tuning in. I'm trying to get some uh, other people involved. I need to send a link. Uh, so uh, let me do that, Anthony. Uh, what other good games we got going on? We got that Independence Brentwood game. Talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, that's going to be a real barn burner out there. Um, you know, Independence, a high scoring offense against, I mean, they play good defense as well, don't get me wrong, but Brentwood hangs their hat on that defense. So a lot of the time, you know, what do you say in sports? Defense wins championships. So. We'll see if Independence can run it up enough tonight here on Brentwood to be able to move on. Um, I think another good game, too, Stork over in 4A, uh, Tullahoma and Marshall County. Marshall County. You like that a, game? Yeah, Marshall County was a school that was – they were ranked in the state earlier this year. One of their two losses was to Tullahoma earlier this year. Tullahoma, of course, they're still undefeated. They got a heck of a ball club out there. Um, so, you know, that'll be one to kind of keep our eye on. I've got somebody out there that's going to be pumping the scores from that one. So, um, that's a good one over in 4A, I believe. Sam says I need to come down a little bit. I'm a little excited. I'll admit it. But anyway, we're here. Friday Night Lights. Couldn't be more pleased. Got to going to have a great crowd. Got a lot of people listening and watching. People from, I mean, well, how about our sponsor? John yeah. Jones Real Estate. John, you're out there sitting in South Dakota hunting pheasant, and you're watching Stork Vision. We couldn't be more pleased than to have John Jones pay for this broadcast. What a great guy. Talked to him on Monday. He said, Stork, no worries. We've got this thing, and uh, we're going to take full control. It's a beautiful night here at Ray Hughes Stadium, and uh, got a lot of people watching. Ben Cottle, the, the coach from Stewart's Creek, he's watching. Dr. Harrell's watching, the principal down there. We're about 30 minutes from kickoff. I'll have some scores rolling in. We're going to get this thing going. Just can't thank everybody enough for joining us. And uh, it's old times being back here. We were over two years ago, 2018. The Oakland Patriots went on and won the 6A championship. But uh, what a night. We uh, we had Ty Nix join us, and we was over at Mount Juliet, wasn't we? Yeah, we sure were. I, that was, it was cold out that night over there at the Dan. Um, that's a great place to watch a football game, by the way. Didn't you just love the layout out there? I Counter really sunk cool. field, kids. It, yeah. it sunk down into the earth, and then you're up real high. We had Ty Nix, the shark, joining us, and Ty Nix is watching. But Bradley Central zero, Maribel fourteen. Take it score, away. I'm yeah. gonna, yeah, I'm gonna send. Uh, uh, University of Tennessee will be wanting to watch this broadcast. So let me get it out to my, uh, my good friend, Coach Ab. Yeah, and. Uh, you know, Stork, this is the, what, the third year in a row these two have played each other here in the second round. And honestly, the past three years, it's always been a pretty competitive football game. You know, Mount Juliet, they play a real physical brand of football, as does Oakland. And, you know, honestly, it's probably the most physical game that you have every year for, for Oakland. Um, this is a team that's, you know, they're not afraid to come out and hit you in the mouth. They haven't lost a game in three years to any of those other Wilson County schools out there. They're 34, 34 and 0 now in the last three seasons, or in the last or five or six seasons, I think, actually, against Wilson County schools. Um, and again, this year, you know, like their record's not quite indicative of how good of a football team they are. They're multiple on offense, can hurt you in a bunch of different ways. They'll go under center and run the ball. They can spread it out and throw it. Defense, they run that 4 2 5. They're fast. They get to the football and they don't make too, too many mistakes, Stork, and that's going to be key for them tonight if they're going to pull off this upset. Absolutely. We do want to talk a little bit about next year and the way it's kind of going to lay out, and it's going to be great for us. We're going to get five region games, so you'll play five region games here in Rutherford County, and it's going to be like the old Region 4 5A, if you remember it. We're not going to have to travel very far. 
Uh, we're going to have Rockville. We inherit Stewart's Creek, mm -hmm. uh, lose three, and we lost Cookville, Warren County, and Coffee County. But what good deal for Jimmy Maynard. I think that, that, that he'll he'll strive in that region over there, and he'll come out alive. It's going to play out well for them. And honestly, for Coffee and Warren, I think it plays out well for them too because honestly, other than Warren County this year, it's it's been rough to see those two come up here and play these Murfreesboro schools and honestly i don't think of a nicer way to say it but get their brains kicked in week in and week out so it helps them out a lot too and you're right for coach maynard i think that's a region that he should be able to win year in and year out and also here too i think it makes it more competitive you get stewart's creek in in the, in the mix now which of course when we still had region seven triple a when Stewart's Creek first opened, they were in it, but they were still trying to get themselves established. They're now an established program that I think will compete with the Blackmans, the Oaklands, the Riverdales. And of course, you got Siegel. They just hired the new coach this year. They're, they'll be up and coming here pretty soon. They're going to get back on track. So I'm excited for the way it shook, it all shook out. And I mean, even if you look on the other side of the county too, where you got Smyrna, Laverne, Cane Ridge, Antioch, that'll be competitive too. Uh, Sam's, is, Sam's reporting in McMinn County and Dobbins Bennett is being delayed due to a possible COVID case at McMinn. Boy, that could really hurt them. You know, I think they had a chance to give Dobbins Bennett all they want. I saw that Dobbins Bennett Alcoa game. Of course, Gary Rankin gave uh, uh, Alcoa gave Dobbins Bennett all they wanted. Yeah. But, but uh, you know, of course, Alcoa played had to play physical the whole entire game to win that thing. Couldn't let off the gas any, Anthony. Yeah, and you know, talking about the whole the whole COVID deal, that's when you get to playoff time like this, you can't put anything down in pen. You know, you got to put it all down in pencil. You could be eight and zero, ten and zero versus six and four. You get a case. That that's it. You know. We got a score coming in. Elizabethton fourteen, East Hamilton zero. That's wrapped up in the first quarter. Little and as you can ball. see, yeah, that's three A ball. And uh, if you're out there, send me a text, uh, send me a tweet, direct message me. Now, Facebookers, I can't see you. Uh, we are splitting the stream and rolling on Facebook. I can't thank all of you all enough. It's down to the nitty-gritty, Anthony. Somebody's going home tonight. Somebody's going to put up their helmet, and somebody's season is going to end tonight, just like it did last Friday night for Blackman, and I hated it for them, but yeah. they got in there. They battled to Hendersonville, Kid Hartsfield and them, had that great game against Cookville. Judy and I shot up there and did that one. And uh, we're going to have a really, I'm telling you, we're going to have a really good physical game tonight. They, there's some kids on this Mount Juliet team. Uh, Mount Juliet, let's talk about them. They beat uh, they beat uh, Stewart's Creek at the opening of the season. And then uh, kind of at a topsy-turvy, what, do do what do you know about them? Yeah, again, kind of like I was saying earlier, they're a team that every year, they play a tough schedule, Storks. Their record really not indicative of just how good they are. Again, offensively, they're not afraid to get under center. Uh, number 17, Jamari Sal, the tailback, watching film of him. He's an explosive guy. He doesn't dance around very much in the backfield. And, uh Likes to hit the hole quick, and he'll lower his pads and get a couple extra yards. Um, Steven Swoner, the quarterback, he's got a good arm, makes good decisions. They can spread it out and throw the ball. They have a good offensive line. Um, tight end Matt Delfendahl, he's you know he's a big target. He likes throwing to him. He gets involved. He plays linebacker on defense as well. Speaking of that defense, Stork, you know, base they run that four-two-five, but. Um, Really, where it, what impressed me most out of watching film with them was their defensive line. They got a very physical defensive front, and of course, we all know about how big Oakland's offensive line is, how strong those kids are, and how physical they are too. Oakland's offensive line—I mean, they just absolutely grind it out, and they will mash you into the dirt all night long. And that's how they win football games. You know, they'll—they're not afraid to run it down your throat. So it's going to be interesting seeing that matchup. Red Bank 7, Brainerd 6, 48 seconds left to go in the first on that one. Thank you, Sam. Dean Fox, the Fox at Rocks, he is in the house, uh, and he's going to be here. Yeah, so let's run through it. Mount Juliet beat Warren County 17-13 last Friday night. Warren County had the Mr. Football, C.J. Taylor, and yep. uh, saw a little bit of that game, and uh, they roughed him up a little bit. Yeah, and that's that's what they got. That's what they're going to have to do tonight. You know, uh, 
Mount Juliet's got a physical defense, you know. Here's an interesting thought. They lost to Hendersonville 24-14. So uh, our buddy Will Kreisky may be in a, may be in a real matchup up there at, yeah. at the Commandos. Oh, absolutely. You know, and, and they handled Blackman last week, and Blackman's a team that, you know, they got hot at the end of the year, and they're a team that had talent and stuff. So On the 23rd, they played Station Camp, beat their brains in 53-16 but lost to Oak Ridge on October 16th, 21-27. And Oak Ridge, is a, they're a really good football team, Stork. Oak Ridge is a team that's, they got a lot of talent. They can run the score up on some teams. So the fact that they were in a competitive ball game with them, you know, it, it says something. This is, a, this is a competitive football team. And here historically, they've played Oakland well. So I think we're going to have a good game on our hands tonight. I'll tell you something else. I mean, everybody can say what they want. I think it's gonna. This thing's gonna get down. I really do. I think it's gonna get down. Uh, I think we're gonna get a, another battle of the borough next week. I hope we do. If not, Hendersonville, yeah. you know, they'll they'll come over here. They'll come over here. Oakland's undefeated. They'll come over here, and uh, if not, and and then we'll be staring down at that fourth round, and we all know who will be coming. That'll be the day after Thanksgiving. John Jones has already said, kids. We will, as long as Oakland keeps winning and we keep going, we're going to keep this broadcast right here in Rutherford County. Can't thank you enough. John, do not shoot yourself out there uh, hunting pheasants. <laughs> uh, we are worried about you, but we love our sponsor, John Jones. John Jones Real Estate, nobody sells homes like John. Stork, I guess uh – we probably ought to go ahead and hit on the Oakland Patriots a little bit. Too, yeah, I you know? tell you what, Oakland is loaded, loaded, yeah. kids. We're going to get tonight, we're going to get to see, keep your eyes on number two, Jordan James. They call him Momo. We'll have Boogie Patterson, Antonio, number three. Watch number five, Victor Stevenson. He's an all-around utility player. Uh, the transfer from um, Innsworth High School, Isaiah Horton, the junior. So, Jordan James – and Isaiah Horton are both juniors. They'll be back. Uh, a kid, uh, Trey Turk, who is an excellent kicker, he'll clock in tonight, and, and he'll show you what his leg can do. Kobe Manning, number 15, really good player. Uh, you just got a lot, a lot of good guys here on this football team. Yeah, and, I mean, Xavier Patterson, Eddie Willis, don't forget that offensive line they got. They are massive. They're physical. And on the defensive side of the ball, again, I know I've said this a million times as we've done Oakland games, but that's where they kill people is defensively. They force turnovers. They tackle quickly. They rip the ball out. They play discipline. You don't see them make uh, make mistakes and shoot themselves in the foot defensively. I think that's where they hang their hat, and I think that's where they win this football game tonight. Mount Juliet's going to have a real tough time with that Oakland defense trying to find some answers. I tell you what, Graham Keating, he's a big kid. Anthony, number 61, the senior offensive lineman. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and didn't they, he commit a, to UNLV? He did, yes, sir. Pulled and the then, trigger. Uh, um, Alex Jones, 65, real big guy. Um, Hunter Greer. I mean, they've got a lot of size on that offensive line. And defensively, too, they still have a really good-sized defensive line. And their front seven is fast, and they're physical as well. Keep your eyes on number 21, Ethan McLaren. This kid's a junior. He, he, he's going to make some plays tonight. He seems to get uh, on the broadcast every time we're involved. Yeah. And uh, he just finds a way to uh, to, to make something happen. And uh, kind of like Jonah Hendricks. Jonah Hendricks was one of those kids that uh, Coach Ab always said, when you really need a play, Jonah Hendricks is going to make a play. And, you know, I think it was this game last year, when we did this game last year, that, uh, that McLaren um, – he caused a real big fumble that Oakland was able to turn into points. They recovered the ball deep in uh, Mount Juliet territory. So Mount Juliet can't take care of the football, and even if they can, it's still going to be a real hard uphill battle for them. Cincinnati Reds pitcher Sonny Gray is listening in and watching him and Jonah and the kids over in Brentwood. He's in town. He, uh, he was out at the ball game last night, had the kids out on a little kids' night out. Well, once again, I'd like to thank my sponsor, John Jones Real Estate. Nobody sells homes like John. Appreciate him.
historic, really, weather-wise, too, tonight. We got a nice night for football. Well, you got we? a nice night for football. It's that wet, cold, kids, and I talk about that. Uh, Sonny and me and a bunch of us went down, boy, in 2007, and is uh, we went down there to play a playoff game, and I mean it was cold in Lincoln County. I mean it was the coldest night I've ever been a part of a football game. We were not broadcasting at that time. A uh, little technology uh, uh, problem there in 2007. <laughs> Wasn't didn't much have inter- all this stuff. I think we you? were running one RXTT at that time. <laughs> you still had the old uh, red, yellow, and uh, red, yellow, and um, white cables still. All right. Analog. Yeah, uh, Dobbins' Bennett <laughs> game has been canceled with additional information coming. Sam Montgomery uh, feeding us. He's my engineer. Wow. We also have an app. We have an app. It's called Stork Vision. All you got to do is just go to the website, and uh, you'll be hunky-dory. Oakland coming in to get ready for the film, and um, everybody's just uh, joining on the broadcast, and we can't thank you enough. We're getting ready to go real fast, kids. Uh, we got kids. Got, one of my competitors, Alex Schwartz from New York, he owns a uh, involved with a with a tower developing company called Tillman. He uh, he's watching. So your competition <laughs> loves watching Stork Vision. My boss Todd Boyer and, and Jason and those guys they're watching from Tower Co. Can't thank you enough, guys. Enjoying it. Uh, here we go. Bradley Central. Whoops. Uh, tw- all right, twenty-one nothing now. Uh, Marival man just just. Bradley Central not able and, and over there in that black hole and you know what that's like. Uh, you, you've you've seen. Have you ever been there to watch a game? Uh, no, I never personally have. Oh, I mean, it, is, it is it is it is unbelievable. Seen on TV, but in the years that I was at Blackman, we never did. I am telling play you, them. kids, you ever get a chance to go over to Maryville, It just doesn't take long to watch a football game at Maryville High School. And right now, they set the standard. And and, and what I mean, and we hope that they that. Uh, we hope that we are sitting right here in two weeks and uh, able to bring that game to the fans. That'll be the day after Thanksgiving, and uh, that's our Christmas time. I mean, uh, yeah. we're down to four then. You're one game away from winning another ring, and, uh, uh, you know, I just don't see the other side of the bracket, not to beat up the Brentwoods, the Ravenwoods, the Independences. Uh, we get one of them. If Maryville or Oakland gets them in a in a, in, in the ring, it's it, I don't think it's going to take long. I mean, Coach Creasy's already showed Brentwood. You don't want no part of it. Ravenwood beat Brentwood. Yeah. So I mean, I'm just. I mean. I mean, Brentwood another, beat Brentwood beat Ravenwood, and Coach Creasy beat Brentwood pretty bad. Another team too that I think might be able to kind of sneak their way in there. Out of West Tennessee, Bartlett. Yeah, yeah there, you, there you go. I, I was think, getting ready to say Bartlett. I think Bartlett might have a chance to be able to kind of sneak the their way up one. there. If they can, you know, if they beat either That's Ravenwood where Coach or McDaniel went. He went to Bartlett. They uh, got a chance. Uh, Elizabeth at Bethton, 21, East Hamilton, 0. Hmm. Heading that way, I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. Y- you're all down that way. Uh, uh, I guess it is. I guess yeah. I, I guess it is. Yeah. Go ahead. I didn't know that. Yeah. I did. We didn't yeah. know. Somebody trying to get a folding chair, and we didn't know it was all. But anyway, they're ready to do their deal. The logistics of high school football. Yeah. There's a. Uh, but we are. Uh, we are maintaining our social distancing up here. Anthony's at least five feet away from me. Judy's at least five feet away from me. So we're going to try to call this football game and bring you all the action. Once again, we can't thank Oakland High School, John Marshable, the principal, um, the director of schools, uh, Bill Spurlock. Can't thank you enough for everything you do. Uh, to other people like Stewart's Creek that helped us out in this year during the broadcast, Dr. Harrell and uh, Ben Cottle, Mr. Bissinger, uh, and and uh, and I can't think of uh, Nathan and uh, Henry. They were down there. I'm I, boy, I'm remembering them all. We got Johnny and Wanda. Coach Creasy's parents are watching. Get well soon, Big Claude. And the guy that wears a white hat tonight is Thomas Sharon. We are 15 minutes away from getting started and even closer to the national anthem. It's a beautiful night, and I, it's just its just what I wanted. I wanted to be here. I wanted to be, and I, I hadn't really had a chance to see Jordan James nor Isaiah Horton. And um, I just want to see i want to see them on the field. I want to see them run. And um, there's just nothing like it, kids. We're going to bring you some action. I uh, I'm, go ahead, Stork. You know somebody else too that that we haven't really mentioned tonight that that I'm excited to see actually finally get out there and play in some meaningful minutes that I haven't personally gotten to see. These we've seen him a couple times these past couple years in mop up duty 
Schlachter. Schlachter. We're going to get a I'm, chance I'm to see Ian I'm Schlachter, see the quarterback. The ball, you know. Victor Stevenson will run quarterback also. So it's uh, Coach Creasy's going to going to going to have a, a an assault coming at him. And uh, Anthony, I got to tell you a little something, something. I stopped by Coach Creasy. I was out here at noon today, setting up the tent and getting ready. Uh -huh. And you know, some of these guys are going to know some of these plays that Coach Creasy runs. But you know, I mean, they're labeled Anthony. You wouldn't believe it. Like it's a slip out Jack back Jack, or it's Red Rocket Twenty One, or you know, I mean, there are the these wild names. And I did ask him, um, you know, uh, some of those some of those names. Has that been a part of his tradition all along? And he said, Yeah, man, those names and. And my playbook is it, it, I've created it, all the names and how they go. And Shad did that. If you, uh, He was Gold R. Uh, you know, he would always run. He actually runs off the old Smyrna template, you know, purple, yep. gold, white. So that was that's his uh, cadence. If you ever had, hear him call. Yeah, we had. I can remember. You're giving me a little PTSD thinking about it now. <laughs> but uh, I can remember, you know, when they'd call in, we'd have we'd – have, uh, no, th those were all the formations. They weren't the exact plays with Shad. So you had – you had purple, we had a blue, we had a white, we had a gold, we had a green. You'd get, sometimes you'd hear like a green right trade. You hear that, that means okay, we're gonna go green right. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a two tight end set trade. They're in a motion, and then you'd call the actual play. Which, for example, I don't want to give away the guy's whole playbook, but just I'll give you one play for example. Yes, simple, please do. Just like a, you'd call it like a one one forty five Ben Power, for example. So. What that means is it's a stretch play to the right. You're going to block it with a zone. Your backside guard's going to pull these two right guard and right tackle. They're kicking down. You got your two tight ends over there to help block. For the five tells the running back which hole he's going through. So yep. it was all it was a numbers and colors game. I mean, Absolutely. It was hard to it was hard to pick up. Don't get me wrong when you're when you're 15 years old looking at a playbook I yeah, mean, I mean, like that, you're like, oh, my God, what am I looking at? I can remember sitting at home nights, and you're just like, geez. Dobbins <laughs> Bennett has been awarded the victory due to COVID wow. over Men County, so they advance on, and such a heartbreaker because you, you want the kids sure to play it I out. Mean, I mean, you want to play it out. I mean. Yeah, yeah, you want to have – at the very least, it's like, you know, I, I couldn't imagine what it would be like being a senior right now and having to go out that way. It would be just absolutely crushing to you. Listen, if I, I lose, talk, that's one thing. But I talked to Ben Cottle. I talked to those guys. Yeah. They, that, that was a tough deal. Yeah. Uh, we want to remind you, too, we appreciate NFHS. They are actually picking up our broadcast, so we are shoveling it to them. Everybody is uh, everybody's tuning in, and uh, we will have a full house tonight, I assure you, and uh, we just couldn't be more pleased to be bringing you all the action here from Ray Hughes Field. Mount Julie Golden Bears and Oakland Patriots. Here we go. We got, it seems like, um, so Dobbins Bennett will play the winner of the Maribel Bradley Central game, and that's shaping up really quick. Uh, Sam, see if you can get me an Alcoa score. Uh, give me a little something, something on it. Let's, let's start running some scores from that East Tennessee, what you know. But, yeah, Stork, you know, talking about the bracket and stuff, I mean, I, I think it's going to come down to either at the very end, it'll either be, one of three teams, Ravenwood, a Brentwood, or a Bartlett. Um, and and ba for Bartlett, I mean, if they can upset a Ravenwood or a Brentwood, they definitely got the easiest path. Ravenwood and Brentwood are going to have to play each other, beat each other up. I mean, and then it would have to go up against a Bartlett. But, um, you know, Bartlett right now, on the way there, they had a bye last week. This is their first game they're playing tonight. They automatically I'll, I'll tell you something nobody round. else knows. I'll tell you a little something for you Louisville people. You love the people. I talked to Coach Kevin Creasy. They did call St. X. They called St. X. That's Kevin Wallace, kids. They called Kevin Wallace. Kevin Wallace has already been approached by Ravenwood. If Ravenwood does not accept or they can't work that out, Kevin Wallace might call back over here to Oakland. We'd like that. We yeah. would love that. I mean, I just like to see uh, Coach Creasy and Kevin Wallace go at it, and uh, that's, that's just my opinion. 
I'm just kind of wheeling in all my coaches from the coaches wheel, Coach Shad uh, and some of those guys that are out there out and about. As we get ready to go here from Ray Hughes Field. Friday Night I Lights. Got a, I got a little score for you. Good, Bring it to me. Good Pasture and CAK in the private school sector. 21-7 Good Pastures up on CAK. That's uh, 31 seconds left in the first quarter in that one. Getting ready to send it to old Burt Brown, the former head coach of the Stewart's Creek Red Hawks. Now Ben Cottle runs that show. Chris Welch from the Cincinnati Reds, uh, the broadcaster, sending him our feed and just some other people so that they'll tune in and enjoy what we got going on here. Great night for Friday Night Lights. Crager's over at Pearl Cone tonight. Crager is at Pearl Cone. He'll get education over there. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he'll get. Father Ryan up. Of course, Big John Henderson came from Pearl Cone, and I saw in the paper today Mookie Betts. They honored Mookie Betts. Did you happen to read that article? I, I sure did. I Thank saw you. that. Thank you. Could you uh, tap us in on Mookie Betts, graduate from Overton High School? I'll give it away, but you take yeah. it, Anthony. No, I mean, it, it's awesome, you know, to see, be able to see a, a local kid win the World Series. And, I mean, technically, too, you can't forget about he opted out this year, but David Price is an L.A. Dodger right now, too. So, uh He'll get a ring, I'm sure, because he's on he's on the team. But um, uh, you know, I mean, with him, Mookie, Sonny, there's there's a lot of good baseball players out there from the Middle Tennessee area. I got a score, Sam, and thank you so much. Alcoa 28, Kingston zero. Second quarter was 7:56 left. So Gary Gary Rankin they got his uh, got his foot down, and that's uh. I think he played Kingston earlier and beat him up pretty bad. But that's one of the better programs in that region. But Joe Gary Rankin talked about it. He said, though, some of those first round games, there's such a mop up or, a, you know, a running clock. He doesn't like first round games. He actually thinks, I mean, the way he talked on one of his interviews, he'd like for them to cut it down. But if we only took two, well, it wouldn't be much of a bracket. I no. mean, it would be it'd be eight teams. So, you know, it wouldn't yeah. take very long play, Coach Rankin. I, I mean, mean you know, there, there. <laughs> wouldn't be much of a gate, Coach, yeah. you know. Yeah, right. So, But, uh, I mean, I kind of kind of understand where he's coming from at the same time, though, because, I mean, it ain't just him. It's all over. I mean, some of these first and second round games, I'm going to squirrel out of the way real quick. Where are you going? Coach is, coach is trying to get through. Oh, Coach is trying to get through. Let him through. <laughs> no Pull problem, man. Case. We appreciate you. Again, the logistics of high school football. Yeah, we're just kind of – we kind of – got to do what you got to do. Well, you know? we just kind of helicopter. We, we got a great setup up here, though. We I just kind of helicoptered in you know? if uh, – I helicoptered in here and just dropped two tables. I came over earlier at noon. I, I put the tent up and put the tables up. And uh, you can't see it, but there is just a light. See if you can see that light mist of fog, Judy. See if you can. Ca oh, yeah. Can you capture it? Yeah. So look at that, kids. Just kind of hanging. That's just a, a moisture just hanging right here. And that's when we talk about that wet cold. Hey, it's uh, it's Friday the 13th. It's that's Friday the 13th. Yeah, there it there. is. And you see that, you see that uh, mist hanging on the top? Beautiful school here at Oakland. And uh, you will see the jump man. Go to the jump man, Judy. Uh, Coach Kevin Creasy, really proud of that jump man as it's lit up in the jumbotron. Jordan, yeah, he calls it jump man, but it is Michael Jordan. We are aware of that. Pretty neat here. Uh, we got a light COVID crowd, but you know what? You got Stork Vision just set right there. Let me bring this thing to you. Claude, get better. Johnny and Wanda I should be blowing your doors out. We're gonna we're gonna try to bring this thing to you. Cofield 20, Greenback 7. Thank you, Sam. Dean Fox, the Fox at Rocks. Hit me if you're out there and ready to go. That's my statistician. We're going to rise for the national anthem and the playing of our or the presentation of our colors and the playing of our national anthem. Sorry.
my wife. She's already fired up the heater for me. There's a warmth of heat just rolls over my legs. Stork, I, uh, I'm going to take a quick second, too. You know, we're only a couple days removed from Veterans Day. Yes, with sir. The plane of the colors. So to anybody out there watching, Absolutely. current service members and veterans, we, we certainly thank you for your service. Absolutely. My dad, Wales Montgomery, served in the Army, and him and Anna Ray are watching tonight. Appreciate you all watching, kids. I'll do the best I can. Sam Montgomery sitting in Louisville. I would say Dean Fox, the fox that rocks, is sitting right downstairs. Uh, normally he is, and he'll be bringing me all those numbers. We are so close, kids, to going real fast here at Ray Hughes Thank Stadium. You. Give me a shout out if you want to be on the broadcast. Several of you have already gotten your text and tweets in. If you want to crash this thing. Once again, Thomas Sharon will wear the white hat. He'll make all final decisions. Cost, uh, cost a little coin to bring this broadcast to you, this thing in free. But I can't thank John Jones enough as he's sitting and dreams about pheasants, but before he does that, he's going to get a chance to watch it. Let's roll with the captains from Mount Juliet High School, number 38. Uh, that's going to be uh, Amarion Workings, also number 17. And this is a guy you got to watch out for, Jamari Sal. Number 68, that's going to be Wade Savage. And big number 99, you can't miss him, kids. That's Jeffrey Pillows, and he will make some noise. Sure will. We'll get you the Oakland captains as soon as they get down here. Looks like just one for the Patriots. You know, I, I, I used to Stevenson. love I used to love playoffs, Anthony, getting down there and running on that sideline and getting close and going out there at the midfield mark, but that probably isn't much right now. They're going to bring number five. This is the utility player, kids. He can make a lot of plays. Victor Stevenson and uh, – Somebody out there needs to offer this kid a scholarship. He is a fine young man, and I mean he can play some football. He will roll. Quarterback, running back, wide receiver, safety, corner. I mean, <laughs> you, you talk about a Swiss Army knife. He's the, he's the man. Thomas Sharon moving right out to the big O. And here we go. They're going to send uh, Sal out, Jamari Sal. He's a running back and a quarterback, cornerback, 5'9", 160 pounds senior. And he'll meet Victor Stevenson. Of course, if Oakland wins the toss, they always elect to defend. They like that ball in the second half. Coin in the air. He's talking to Victor. Looks like Oakland's got the toss, won the toss. And he's going to write that down so that we'll know who gets the ball at the start of the second half. The only thing you don't want him to write down, Anthony, you don't want him to write your name down. That, yeah, that yeah means, you don't that means, want that. That means you got a personal foul. That means you got one more and you're out of here. <laughs> All right, Oakland's going to defer to the second half. They've won the toss, just like I said. Going to find out which way Hendersonville wants to go. Mount Juliet. Yep. And so Mount Juliet is going to run toward the Jumbotron. Victor yeah. Stevenson's back is to the Jumbotron, and he'll run toward the concession stand. Ladies and gentlemen, Friday Night Lights, sponsored by John Jones Real Estate. Nobody sells homes like John. And the time has come. Walker Valley 3, Knoxville West 13. Here comes the Oakland Patriots. Hendersonville coming out very lightly on the other side. It's playoffs, Anthony. Couldn't be better. Oh, you can tell you what. <laughs> I played in a couple of these games, and your your stomach's flipping and turning. Mine's you been flipping wait. and turning all day. I mean, I mean it, it is electric atmosphere. Okay, David Crockett, 7, South Doyle, 10, Knoxville Hall, 0, Knoxville, 14. Sam, I think you left me off part of that other team. Got one. Yeah, that Hall score. If you oh, get that. Elizabeth leading East Hamilton, 21 nothing. They're on a collision course with Tullahoma. Well, actually, now that's, that, that score is old. I've got Elizabeth in 28 to nothing. 28 nothing. 
So uh, we saw last night how important is special teams, Anthony, to the Tennessee Titans. And Kevin Creasy is a special teams fanatic. Oh, I mean, yeah. he loves special teams, kids. He hasn't had a kicker or a punter since he's been here not go play on Saturdays. So if that tells you anything. Yeah, and um, Oak Ridge 6, Ray County 0. We mentioned Oak Ridge earlier, and Ray County says they got a pretty good football team. No place I'd rather be than sitting right here with you bringing this game. Oh, Can't yeah. thank everybody enough. It's just what we what we love. We only get to do it a couple of times a year for the playoffs. All the other games, they mean something. But, boy, it means a lot right now. Somebody will put their helmet up. Somebody's going home. The kicker tonight, Trey Turk, he'll clock in. He's a Mr. Football. He's a junior. And this kid can really boot it. He's going to send it to the end zone. He's going to make Hendersonville start or uh, Mount Julie Golden Bear start at the uh, 20. He's going to kick it right through the back of the end zone. The deep man is Jamari Salvo. Viewers are starting to build as we get ready to crank up this broadcast. Alcoa 35, Kingston 0. That's in the second quarter with four minutes left. The ball is now in Trey Turk's hands. And Anthony's already told you, Jamari Sal is back deep for the Mount Julia Golden Bears. Thomas Shannon has given the signal that it is time to play football here at Ray Hughes Stadium. Trey Turk, take it away. And our kickoff is at 7.02. Here we go. Going to take it at the one, up to the 10, up to the 15, up to the 20. Up to about the 24. He's going to be tackled, Anthony, by the big number 82, Hayden. And what will be interesting tonight is Mount Juliet trots onto the field for Oakland. When they played against Warren County against C.J. Taylor, not a whole lot of gang tackling going on. So we'll see if they can bottle up Sal early. I think that will be key for this Oakland defense. Halftime over at Maryville. They're, getting beat. They're beating Bradley Central 21 to nothing. Here we go. The quarterback is number four. Swanner, Steven Swanner. He's going to work right up underneath that center. He's going to give it to number 17, Jamari Sal on that right side. He got about three or four yards, going to be second down. Yeah, that's a good looking run right there, Stork. You know, if Mount Juliet's able to continue to do that on first and second down, makes it manageable on third down. That's something that'll be big for their offense. Let's call it second to long six, and the ball's just marked at the 27 yard line. Clock will continue to work because it's a run and play. Let's see what they do. They're going to run Sal on that right side. And the quarterback, Swanner, is going to work up underneath the center. Send Sal. Kind of a misbobulated play, Anthony. Wasn't ready. And Oakland's all over it, kids. Got him for a loss. Yeah, and that's that's something. They wanted that, Conlin Baggett, number two. Yeah, and that's something with those misdirection plays right there. You get the O-line going one way, the running back going the other. If the defense recognizes it, it can spell trouble, which it just did there. Good job by Oakland getting to the football. Oliver Springs and Cloudland are knotted up at halftime at 14. Third down, third and eight. See Swoner Could be a long eight or a short nine. Gordon, how you want to look here. at it? Yeah, ball's marked on the 25 now. Swanner going to work out of the shotgun. Twins to the top, twins to the bottom. He looks down at the bottom, but now he comes back up on a hitch, and Anthony ain't going to get it. Yeah, a little bit of a tunnel screen. It looked like they were trying to set up right there. Oakland in zone coverage. Just did a really good job, you know. You, you don't let the guy get to the sticks. Let him catch the ball, make the tackle. tackle. They're not going to throw for the sticks. Make him pay for it. Tackle made by number nine, Theron Gaines. And now, Mount Julie Golden Bears is in a fourth down situation. They're going to have to punt it, Anthony. I don't Trey know. Perry, he's, uh, he's Trey talking Perry. to Swoner down there like, okay, Here, now, there come go. on. You, come on, Anthony. <laughs> I was like, uh. <laughs> yeah, Anthony, you didn't hit your head that bad. Here we go. We're going to punt it. Father Ryan, seven, MUS, zero. He gets it away. It's going to be a nice punt. Victor Stevenson is going to fair catch it along about 36, 37 yard line. That's where the Oakland Patriots will take over. Ian Schlachter is the quarterback, probably that will start for the Patriots, and that who it is, number eight. Schlachter runs out onto the field. Now Creasy will run 
Victor Stevenson also, and it looks like he's got Victor in there already, and he may run a little tailback, a little something, something. That's number five. So Schlachter. Oh, we got Victor up at the top. Jordan James in the back. Oh, no. Like got Schlachter. Momo in the backfield. We got Ian Schlachter, Momo to the left of Schlachter. That's Jordan James, and they give it to Momo. Momo coming this way. He's up to about the 40-yard line and a pickup of about three yards. Tackle made on the play by number 40, and that's uh, Gage Earls. I'm going to butcher this kid's name, and I really hope I don't. Uh, great block right there by 52 Tejo. Oh, to Joe Knox, I'm going to go with. That okay. was a good job pulling out and kicking his man right Appreciate there. you bringing that to us. Isaiah <laughs> Horton's at the top of the screen, and Schlachter's going to work out of a shotgun. He gives it to Jordan James on that left side. James is going to pick up about three, and the tackle's going to be made. Hold on, as soon as he turns, let's go with number 13, and that's Ethan Crisp. And right here, too, you know, if you're Mount Juliet, what you want to try to do defensively, get Oakland into third down situations. Make them put the ball in the air. If they're going to beat you, you got to make them try to do it throwing the ball because you know how good they run it. They run Xavier Patterson in, number 18. And going to send number seven, Isaiah Horton, to the top. Mount Juliet looks like they're going to bring a little pressure off the edge here. That's all right. Look who they got. It looks like Victor Stevenson's running quarterback. Victor went up the middle, and he's not going to get it, Anthony. Yeah, great play recognition right there by number 15, Matt Delfendahl, the linebacker. They fake the jet sweep right there, and Victor Stevenson goes to keep it. Delfendahl coming in on what looked like it might have been a called blitz anyways, but a great job by Mount Juliet to respond defensively. Christian Donatelli was in there also. On the field, Trey Turk, so he'll get, should, get a good, should get a good punt off, kids. Watch this, this SEC punter right here. Alcoa 42, Kingston 0. Whoa, he just blocked the kids. Oh, my goodness. Mount, Mount Juliet with a big, big play, and they're on the 15. Turk relaxed. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Well, I mean, Mount Juliet sent the house right there, you know, and honestly, if you're Oakland, when you see that type of a front, I, I kind of thought maybe personally they may have thought about trying to call a timeout right there because – you could see Mount Juliet was going to come after that thing, but they decided to snap it anyways. A big play here for Mount Juliet. they got to capitalize. Absolutely. Mount Juliet threatening to get on the board. Trey Perry sends a little heat and catches the blocked punt. Great call by them. All right, number four, Swanner. He's got to make something happen here. Misdirection to give it to number 17, Jamari Sal. Nice pickup. Tackle made by number nine, Theron Gaines. And right here, if you're the Oakland defense too, you know, something just happened real bad real quick. You got to realize, okay, guys, they're not in the end zone yet. Let's buckle down right here, keep them up from getting a first down, and we'll go from there. We can try to limit the damage here. Well, it's on the eight, and it's second, you know, he, just a few to get a first down, so he's got plenty of, to work with here. He doesn't need to get in a lot of hurry early in the game. Swan are going to work up tight. He's got number two, Conlon Baggett. Now, he'll give it to Baggett. That's his bell cow. No, they're bringing it this way. Swoner. Or Sal, Jamari Sal. It wasn't there, was it? Great tackle right there by number 22, Eric Taylor, getting out there. Or, excuse me, Isaiah Horton getting out there in space to make the tackle. And, again, like I just said, Stork, if Oakland's defense can buckle down right here, you can limit the damage. Ball marked on the 12-yard line. If Oakland didn't awake, they are now. This is going to be huge for Mount Juliet. When you Absolutely. Get, you're not going to get very many opportunities like this, so you've got to get try to get this ball into the end zone. Third and six for a first, but golly, they want six points out of this. In a tight set with one receiver down here at the bottom, and that's Ethan Brown rolling to He's the got right. A guy He's got a guy. Open. Do it in the dirt, Anthony. Oh, wow. Had Swoner, that chance. Swoner didn't see it, but uh, the tight end, Matt Delfendahl, released a little bit late on a post corner route and was wide open. Nobody within 15 yards of him. If he'd have seen him, they'd have scored, but he didn't. Victor Stevenson, number five, was there on the defense. And now it puts up a fourth down situation. Uh, you know, 
Coach Hab always said during playoffs, you get down here, you got to get six, and uh, they're going to go for the. They're, they're going to go field, field goal. They're going to catch a three. Thirty-yard kick, Stork from the and left then, hash. Yeah, and then going to put your defense out there on the field and see if you can see if you can hold Oakland. That's three points, Coach. So a good job right there by Mount Juliet. You know they get some points out of it. It's good they get the three, but. At the same time, man, when you come up with a big play like that, you've really got to capitalize. So give some kudos to Oakland's defense for buckling down right there. Cofield 20, Greenback 7, that's at the half. Ravenwood 7, Franklin 0, Gatlinburg Pittman 0, Pigeon Forge 0, and that's at the half. That's Thank a, you, that's Sam. That's a rivalry game right there. Well, I'm sure Dean Fox, the Fox and Rocks, he's somewhere in the house, and we should be getting a text from here shortly uh, with some stats, and uh, I'll bring those to you the minute I get my fingertips on them. Wow, what a special teams play. Yeah, you know, you talk about special teams in a game like this, you know, Mount Julius. We didn't have much to, to talk house, about last but... night with the Titans, I assure you. <laughs> yeah. That punter, the... and they said he just got off of a FedEx. FedEx. He yeah. was a FedEx, like yeah. he was a – he was shipping packages or something. Man, and that just shows you how much pressure you're under. You know, you might be able to pick, kick it real good out here in a field, nobody around you. Let me stick you down there at uh, Nissan Stadium. Red Bank 14, Brainerd 6, that's at the half. Just wait now for some figures from Dean Fox, the Fox that rocks. Mount Juliet on the board, 3 nothing, And... Uh, we're just getting started. Appreciate everybody joining us. John Jones, John Jones Real Estate. Nobody sells homes like John. He's bringing this game to you, and he's sitting in South Dakota. Taking from the two, up to the 10, up to the 12. Victor Stevenson up to the 15. Oh, we got a flag. About to the 17. Yeah, I think we're going to have a little bit of a hold or a block in the back. He didn't mean to. Short. He didn't mean to. He won't do it again. Going to be 10 yards, isn't it, from that spot of the foul? It is, Anthony. Nice calls. 10 yards from the spot of the foul, which is really going to hurt Victor Stevenson's little run. Well, and, and I mean, if you're Oakland right here, you know, the important thing is, hey, guys, let's take a deep breath. Don't get too rattled. Our defense just come up big for us. We only gave up three points here. Let's put together a nice little drive. Maybe even if we don't get in the end zone, at least kind of take some of the pressure off of that defense. Get a few first downs here at least. That'd be good for the Oakland offense. Ball's going to be marked just about on the, looks like about on the seven and a half yard line. I got a score here for you to light you up. JP 2-7, Brentwood Academy 0. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to run with Victor Stevenson, the utility player. He's the quarterback. He pulls it, looking, coming up that middle. And boy, Mount Julie Golden Bears is right there, kids. Big number 13 was in there, Ethan Chris. How Second much down. how much more they run Victor Stevenson out of that Wildcat tonight, I don't know. But, it's, I mean, it's only been two plays, so you don't want to abandon it too quick. But it looks like Mount Juliet's really got his number. Well, they put Schlachter back in there, so Stevenson will slide over. Brought number 18, Xavier Patterson out. And now you got Jordan James back there with Ian Schlachter. Schlachter looking quick pass down to Isaiah Horton and up to the 15. And that's a good pass right there, too. You know, th those are the type of pass plays they're going to want to do early in this game. Try to get Schlachter into a rhythm to where they've got to respect you throwing the ball. Have him complete a couple of passes here and there because once he gets into a rhythm, gets some confidence, you go play action, you can hit on something deep later on, Stork. All right, here we go. Schlachter now running the show. And let's see who he's got back there playing with him. Then Stevenson, uh, Victor to the left. And Jordan James, he lets Jordan James on Momo. Momo on the left, up to the 25, up to the 30, up to the 35, up to the 40, up to the 50, up to the 45, up to the 40, up to the 30, up to the 25, 20, all the way up to the 18-yard line. Momo, what a run. Stork, I'm just going to say two words about that, and that's it. Speed kills. Man, he looked good. I wanted to see him run, tackled and pushed out of bounds by number 42. Let's call it number I 43, mean, Brevin Patterson. When he hit that hole, wow. man, he was gone quick. That was a heck of what a run What a run, right there. kids. Jordan James, they call him Momo. First and 10 for Ian Schlachter. Momo still in the game and lined up right behind Schlachter. Brentwood Academy 3, JP 2-7. Schlachter going to give it right back to Momo. Up the middle, 10, 
five, touchdown Momo, touchdown Oakland. The vision on these past two runs for number two, Jordan James, man, that's just out of this world. Makes one cut, bounces one for 70 plus yards. On this second one, shakes a linebacker and makes him fall over, gets it into the end zone. He played What it. a run. He played at Una, kids. Sonny Gray played at Una. Some of the greatest players out of Nashville, they played their youth ball at Una. Una. King Dunlap, uh, Jalen Ramsey, they all played down there. Mookie Betts played there. Schlachter dots that eye and makes it seven. I got a score coming in. Maybe, maybe it could be Dean Fox. Where's Dean? Here we go. Dean Fox, the fox at Roxy lives. <laughs> Uh, we got Moore County 7, Huntington 0. Here we go. On that one while ago, that was three plays, four yards, about 37 off the clock on that one uh, down here on this, uh, down here on that on that, on that that one. And Stork, wow. you know, I mean, I, I know it's only the first quarter, but after having, you know, something like that happen to you, you know, something that's huge for Mount Juliet, you can't give up big plays to this offense, otherwise it's going to get ugly quick. Wow! So they're going to have to, they're going to have to respond here. I mean, even if it's not seven, the, put some points on the board at least, and put together some sort of a drive. Otherwise, o Oakland feeds off of plays like this, and they feed off of momentum. It can get I, ugly quick if you don't. Twenty respond. years ago, I got my start in doing this in youth football. I called down Smyrna and. And I got to know these guys, and we were in the Mid-State Youth Football, but we got our brains beat in by a community called UNA, which stands for University of Northern Antioch. And I can't tell you, man, there's been so many great football players come out of there. Pearl Cone, seven, East Nashville, zero. 10.45 left to go in the first, and that's from the desk of Tom Krager. Ian Schlachter ready to kick off. The kids, it's playoffs here at Ray Hughes Stadium, 7-3. Oakland, we're back into it. And that's uh, what we wanted to see out of Ian Schlachter, Anthony. You got to stick it back there. Got to make them drive from the 20. That's, a, that's what you want to do. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, best policy against defending a kick, don't let them return it. Uh, you Trey Perry, uh, you know, you don't need to be alarmed. I, I'd get in there and run my offense, Coach. Yeah, get in there. I mean, you're having success running the ball. Continue to run the ball. And on that play action, too, that they, they just missed the touchdown on, if you run on first down, run on second down, and you have a manageable third down situation, there's no need to be alarmed at all. All right, Steven Swoner, he's the quarterback. He needs to do something for the Mount Juliet Golden Bears. Oh, they went with Conlon Baggett, and that just didn't go nowhere. Yeah, look at that. Look that, at that. That was the same misdirection play that they ran earlier, Stork, and they have the same exact result. Well, I tell you I what, have Trey, a feeling they're probably going to throw that one out the rest well, of the Well, Theron Gaines has snuffed it out two or three times, now yeah. second and 12. Absolutely. Negative plays on first down hurt real bad because when you're going from behind the chains with only two more downs to play with, I mean – I know it sounds kind of obvious, but mathematically, it really hurts when you're an offense kind of like Mount Juliet that's not really hitting on a lot of big plays. Ball on the 18, Swoner. Bring twins down here and swing them. They're strong down here by us, kids. They're going to bring it this way. Now they go back the other way. Nice play, Anthony. Pickup of about a couple. And something, too, that Oakland has done a really good job of here defensively real early. Mount Juliet likes the motion, guys. They like to try to get you off balance. They like to try to get your eyes moving one way. A great job by Oakland of staying at home, reading their keys, and playing assignment football defensively. Third down, it's going to take a level two pass in order to get a fresh set of four. So that's what you want to do. Trey Perry runs the play in from the sidelines. It was third and seven. So, you, like I said, you need a level two pass, kids, to get a fresh set of four. McCauley zero, Christian Brothers seven. So Coach Thomas McDaniel beating Ralph Potter. They go up the middle, kids. He's close to the first down. That's Conlon Baggett. It. Yeah, it's going to be close. The number two. And then number 28 was there on the stop. Vanderbilt, Braylon Vanderbilt. Good call right there by Coach Perry. I mean, I, I, I feel like he knew Oakland was going to come out with a lot of DBs on the field. So 
He decides to go with a belly G to his fullback, and they're able to kind of quickly stun Oakland, and they get just enough for the first down. Ball's marked on 31 and a half. Fresh set of four given to Steven Swoners. He works up underneath the quarterback. They got one at the top, and here we come. Reverse right up the middle. 38 is who they gave it to. I saw it, and Judy held right on. Workings was the runner. Number 23 was there on the stop for the Patriots. Franklin, Jarrell Franklin. Yeah, and again, they get five, three, four, five off of that play, but a good job by Oakland of, of not getting your eyes keep it, moving yeah, one keep, way. You know? Keep that reverse in front of you. Ravenwood, mm -hmm. 14, Franklin, seven. Donnie Webb could be in a little bit of trouble. They, they beat I missed that game, Don. I, I hear you being coddled. I missed that game. Franklin, they, they got they got a hold of them last week. Yeah. I think, ah. Uh, Swallowed them up at the line of scrimmage. Coach Cottle and I, we tried to pick some uh, games last week, and uh, I picked Franklin to get beat, and he told me Franklin would win, and sure enough, they did. I think that was against Smyrna, wasn't it? It was. Yep. They won pretty handily as well. Well, uh, you know, I saw Franklin play over here uh, against Riverdale for about two quarters before it was light and about to shock us off the, over at the reservation. Oh, you don't want that. Swoner from uh, right up tight. And they're going to give it to number six, and that's Danion. Danion. I, I tell you what right there, what, what made that exactly happen right there, and it was a good job defensively by the middle linebacker from Oakland. They move the defensive lineman, they shift them over one technique, each, each one of them to the left, and it was just enough for them to get over there and make that tackle in time. And now you're looking at a fourth down right here near midfield. I would expect a punt, but we'll see what happens. Oakland Patriot turf field looks wonderful, and you just gotta love that uh, down marker lit up. It's fourth and two, and they're gonna punt it. They're let's yelling down there, watch for a fake. Well, I, let's see if they send some heat. There comes a little bit of heat. Stevenson with a yeah, fair catch. Yeah, he's just going to catch, fair catch it, and we'll, they'll start. They'll go to work from the 28. I got several texts coming in. MUS 21, Father Ryan 17, Knox Hall 7, Knox Central 14. Thank you, Sam. Uh, Dean Fox, the Fox that rocks. Uh, no stats on the last drive. Computer problem, sorry. All right, you're gonna have to pick it up, Foxy. Let's roll. Let's see what they got. Schlachter, Jordan James. We'll give it back to Jordan James on that left side. James is wrapped up quickly by number 13, Ethan Crisp. Uh, something I'll say about the Mount Juliet defense. They are fast on the edges, Stork. They, uh, they're edge rushers, they're outside linebackers. They do a good job of getting to the football quickly. I don't know if we're gonna have another play ran here in the first quarter, maybe one, we'll see. McCauley seven, Christian Brothers seven, that game's still in the first quarter. Ian Schlachter, the quarterback, Momo's to the right. And twins down here and they're not gonna get it. This, here we go, Schlachter, Schlachter, lets it fly. Victor Stevenson caught it, he's at the 35. He's at the 35. What a beautiful wow. focus throw kids. right focus. there by Ian Schlachter. Victor Stevenson going out there on the wheel route, gets behind the safety. They're in man coverage. It's just one-on-one. -on -one. Schlachter puts that ball on the back shoulder of Stevenson to where only his Woo. guy can get it. I don't know what – I mean, that was that was a heck of a throw right there, Stork. I got to give it to Schlachter on that one. Independence 7, Brentwood 0. Independence gave uh, Kit Hartsfield all he wanted earlier in the year. Good, good – Good game. Uh, Kid Hartsfield and, and the Blackman Blaze, they played a played a tough played a tough schedule. Played Ravenwood, played Alcoa. And now you see the wizard down there, Kevin Creasy. As he's uh, going to talk to him. I'd like to thank our sponsor, John Jones Real Estate, and all of you, the fans. We can't thank you enough for being out there. Uh, David Limbaugh. David Limbaugh is watching. My goodness, we've got everybody. He's at a game in. too, isn't he? He could be. Yeah, he's at a game and watching a game. He just sent me something, so I, I don't know. I guess Limbaugh's watching up in Hendersonville. Who knows? But I can't, I can't thank all of you enough. Hender, uh, I got a score from there. Stand by. Yeah. Uh, Crockett 14, South Doyle 13 from uh, the uh, North Nashville. Riverdale 7, Hendersonville 0. Okay, well, 
We got a ball game here too, Stork. Oh, we got I, a great I mean, ball game. Good I mean, ball game. I think what this thing's going to come down to right here from what we've seen, I mean, you can call it cliche all you want, but this is what playoff games come down to. Who can make more big plays? Yeah, uh, That's what absolutely. it's going to come down to. When you hit on big plays like that pass, the block punt from Mount Juliet, the big run from Oakland in the first quarter, I mean, that's told the entire story of this one so far. I got to give a shout out to the young lady operating that camera. Judy the beauty, she's the best. Nobody can do it like her. And I mean, your eyes are smooth, my eyes are smooth. I'm JP2's 14, Brentwood Academy 3. Here we go. Second quarter. Ian Schlachter from a shotgun and twins down here and twins to the top. And here we go. Quick pass. Isaiah Horton on that side. Horton not going to get much. Tackled by a made by number 30. Uh, Donatelli, Christian Donatelli. And again, not not much, but what you're doing here early in this ball game, you're giving Schlachter confidence. He's completing passes to where you go play action, you run a wheel route like we just saw to Victor Stevenson. He's confident in himself that he can complete those passes. Tullahoma 7 and Marshall County 0. Second down, second and nine. Schlachter needs to do something. One to the top, twins to the bottom. Let's see what he does. And they give it to Jordan James on that right side. It's what they do. Give him a little more Momo. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Momo. Touchdown, Jordan James. That's two tonight, kids. He came from Una. Stork, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on a limb here and say something. He kind of reminds me He's of special. somebody. He's special. Well, he kind of reminds me of somebody, too. When you see him hit the hole like that and his arms get working, he kind of looks like number four that used to play on the other side of town a couple years back, doesn't he? Well, and he's, <laughs> he's got a little bit. Well, and uh, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I love Jules Kamar and even uh, our guy, Travis Henry. He gets up in the hole quick and he makes it happen. Schlachter on the dot the eye. And that's what he does. Boy, they almost blocked it there. I mean, Trey Perry sitting in the heat. Yeah. Number 23 for Mount Juliet Stewart. Laid out there. And I kind of want to go a little bit more in depth on that play from the touchdown run, too. Well, don't the, do it. Wait a minute. Okay. Stop, because okay. we've got the, the Fox at rocks. He's got some first quarter stats, and that's what we were looking for. First downs, Mount Juliet 1, Oakland 4. Rushing, Mount Juliet 25, Oakland 69. Passing yards, Mount Juliet 1, Oakland 36. Your total yards, Mount Juliet 26, Oakland 105. Appreciate everybody right. joining us. Go ahead, Anthony. What was you wanting to say? So uh, that formation they came out in, a, a, a single back set, that's a formation that you see NFL teams run. I, I, I personally, the past couple of years, haven't seen Oakland run that before. They come out, and it's just a simple, you know, gap right running play. They pull one guard. Your tight end gets out in space. Bryson Dobbs, he made a good block, of course. His dad used to be the coach at Moore County. He's here now. Uh, Johnny Wanda, we want to give you a shout out. Get well soon to Claude. Tim Gentry's dad, he's sick. We just want to say get well soon to Claude. And Johnny and Wanda are watching. It's Kevin Creasy's parents. They are watching and hope I'm bringing the game to you. Ian Schlachter set to, or not Ian Schlachter, uh, Trey Turk, my goodness. Losing my noodle. Turk to kick and from the one. 5, 10, 15. Oh, he stays on his feet. Nice move, and that was Jamari Salve with a return, and nice return. Turk's kick was awesome. You're going to start from the 24. He brought it out from a 1, so that's about a 24-yard return, wasn't it, Anthony? Yeah, sure was, and it was a good return. You know, it sets him up in good field position. He took off running when he was around him. They, I mean, they got to respond, you know. You're down two possessions. You don't yeah, you want to get, do get any further than this. They don't want no more of Momo. I don't want no more of him. Man, what a great, great run. Pearl Cone 14, East Nashville 0, 5-10 left to go in the first half. Swoner. Pitch left side. Boy, just not a lot there, man. Danian. And what Mount Juliet's trying to do here, they're trying to get Sal, they're trying to get their guys out in space with these toss plays, these misdirections, these jet sweeps. They're not trying to run it up the gut because they know Oakland's physical defensively. If they can get their guys out in space, they think that's where they can hit on some of these long run plays. So whether or not they can have success with it, I don't know, remains to be seen, but we'll see what goes on here. Second down, the ball's from the 26. Swoner. 
Here we go, handoff on the inside. And went with Conlon Baggett, and it's going to be third down, kids. Right. Just not a whole lot there. And Anthony just said it, that, that inside, he's not going to let you run it inside. JP2, 21, Brentwood Academy, 3, Pearl Cone, 14, East Nashville, 0. Just just not going to let, let him run it inside. Victor no. Stevenson comes in, 18, runs off. That's Xavier Patterson for Oakland. And Mount Juliet has not done a good job trying to throw the ball tonight. And when you keep getting yourself into third and long situations, you're going to have to if you want to win this football game. Got Ethan Brown to the top. Steven Swoner going to work real tight. Swoner, he's going to pass. Here we go. He's rolling this Nothing. way, kids. He's catching some heat. He's going to have to let it go. And he does. And nobody was there. They want grounding. They're going to call it incomplete. Yep. Um, but, I mean, right there, another, uh, again, you know, they it's go play down. action. Oakland's in a, a Tampa 2. They're running two deep safeties. Their corners are dropping back deep. There's only two receivers downfield for Mount Juliet. I don't understand that. I got an update from North Nashville. Sam, thank you for bringing this in. Brett Rowe had an 84-yard kickoff return. Henderson, Hendersonville 7 and Riverdale 7. Oh, wow. Quick special teams punt here. Oakland sets up quick, and so does Mount Juliet. Here it goes. Nice punt with a nice roll, kids. 25, 23 is where it's going to rest. Appreciate our sponsor, John Jones Real Estate. Nobody sells homes like John. I'd like to remind you about that app. It's in the app store, Stork Vision. That's what it's called, and you can stay tuned to all our broadcasts. Four plays, 72 yards on that last drive. Buck 55, Jordan James, 35-yard touchdown run. Mount Juliet 14, or uh, Oakland 14, Mount Juliet 3, 11-17 in the second quarter. From the desk of the Fox at Rocks, Dean Fox. Get your pencil ready, Dean. We're getting ready to go again. You got Jordan James in the backfield, kids. He's special, and he's right behind Ian Schlachter. You give it to James up the middle on the right side. He's going to work again. He's up to the 35. He's tackled by number 13, Ethan Crisp, who almost saw the back of his jersey again. And Chain gang moves. Boxman resets. Fresh set of four given to Ian Schlachter as the ball's marked just on the 36. You know, honestly, Stork, as quick as they're getting through the hole right here, as quick as James is getting through the hole, if you're Mount Juliet, you're probably going to have to start stacking the box here and blitzing through those A-gaps. Knotted up over Williamson County, Franklin 14, Ravenwood 14. Schlachter from a shotgun, fakes it. Oh, he drops the ball. He drops the ball, but he gets right back on it. Oh, my goodness. He just kind of laid out there like a bread basket and just dropped it. Yeah, you know, it's you got to do one thing before the other. You got to catch a snap before you can throw the ball, and he just got a little ahead of himself there, Stork. Yeah, I got Isaiah Horton in there, number seven. Keep your eyes on them. They got Patterson in there, Antonio Patterson, number three. Let's see what Coach Creasy sends in. Maybe it's a Red Rocket 90. <laughs> or Slick Willie 10. You never know, but he's got Jordan James, and that's all you got to do. That's all you need right there, kids. MUS 21, Father the Ryan 21. Schlachter fakes it to Jordan James. He's looking. He's catching pressure. He works out of it. He ducks his head and gets tackled. Big number 99, Jeffrey Pillows. Yeah, and, you know, Mount Juliet, they show pressure late and they bring it late. And I don't think Schlachter, before they snapped the ball, didn't really notice. And uh, they had pretty good coverage downfield. I, I call that a coverage sack right there. For we got all work. kinds of great games going on. I want to repeat this again. Riverdale's knotted up with Hendersonville at 7. Franklin and Ravenwood are knotted up at 14. MUS 21 and Father Ryan 21. And that's at the half. Thank you, Sam. Third and 12 now for the Oakland Patriots. Twins to the top, one to the bottom. Jordan James is in relief. Isaiah Horton down here at the bottom. He's 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40. It's coming back, Stork. Boy, what a nice little screen pass. They yeah. went to Horton. They set it up quick and they set it up well, but they're going to get big number 61, Graham Keating, on a holding call down here on the He corner. didn't mean to do it. Oak Ridge 13, Ray County 0. So, Oak Ridge giving Ray County, and that's 946 in the third. Thomas Sharon to make the call, holding. 
As he has indicated that Anthony saw, and that'll be a 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. They'll repeat that down. So now Anthony's going to make it third and 22. Yeah, that hurts you right there. And if you're Mount ah. Juliet right here, you know, you know that they're probably going to most likely uh -huh. throw the ball. So you get your guys you deep send and a just blitz. let them tackle. You want to send a blitz. Make them tackle. You want to send a blitz. Trey Perry going to get the ball back. He needs to score. He got the ball at the start of the game, and 7-18. Uh, yeah, he, he could end up with real good field position here, and that's what Trey Perry wants. I told Trey Perry he'd get a good call. Uh, you know, I saw Lebanon and Chuck Gentry, and we saw DeQuante Shannon. DeQuante Shannon ran anywhere he wanted to that night, and that Lebanon did beat Sturge Creek. Uh-oh, they jumped, but they're set back. Here goes Schlachter rolling to the right, sets his feet, looking, let it go. Isaiah Horton just went up and got it, kids. He is up at the 34. Isaiah Horton. And you talk about having confidence in your receiver. It's the, he knows the safety's there, but he floats it up high enough, and he tells Horton right there, you know what, I know my guy can go up there and get it. And he did. McCauley 14, Christian Brothers 7. I'm telling you, Isaiah Horton. What a catch right there by number seven. Wow. What a catch. Independent seven, Brentwood seven. Fresh set of four, now given to Ian Schlachter. He can work now, and he's got Jordan James in the background. James going to run to the, and give to Patterson up the middle. Look at Patterson, 20, 15, 10, five. Little delay draw right there, Stork. You show pass block, except for the one guy that's tied in, blocking down, kind of comes into that hole Makes a good block, Bryson Dobbs, and Jordan James does the rest, and Oakland's knocking on the door. Antonio Patterson, number three. What a beautiful run by him, and now the Oakland For Patriots Patterson, are on this six. Me, yeah. Brentwood has 52 seconds left in the first. That, that could be the first half, Sam, because we're going to be close to the first half here. or That could be first quarter. Either way, they go with Jordan James. That's number three <laughs> for Momo. That old line just parted the Red Sea right there, Stork. You could have drove a Mack truck through there. Boy, he looks good. <laughs> Man. At Mount, I mean, I talked about Mount Juliet's front seven and how good they were, but they really look overmatched right now, Stork. Oakland just getting that push, as they say. Yeah, Into absolutely. the first quarter, Tullahoma seven, Marshall County zero. And Trey Turk is on the clock in. I messed up a while ago and called him Ian Schlachter, but Trey Turk. The SEC kicker's on, pops it. He got blocked earlier. I'm sure he won't forget that. Maybe he was a little relaxed. And did he, he may not even seen the guy coming. You don't know. Yeah, we're going to get a little penalty for a little running into the kicker right here, too. Are they we? hit him. Yeah. That'll be enforced on the kickoff. Story. That'll be 15 yards. Let's see what he does. So he'll be kicking off from the uh, Thomas 45? Sharon's going to talk to me about is what he's going to do. It's, it's, a, it's a personal foul, isn't it? Well, running into the kicker five is yards, not five, the kicker five, is. Five, let's see. Is he going to get him? There are they. I think they might wave it off. I don't know. Thomas Sharon wears the white hat, waiting on him. Boy, gee, the beauty is just amazing. Look at that pay, Look at that camera work. I know we're just blowing your living room right up. She does awesome work. We couldn't do it without her. We couldn't do it without the whole team. The Fox at Rocks, Anthony. Sam, everybody, and my mom and dad, they support me, and I don't know why. Even my boss now, he's all giddy about video. We got a lot of things going on at the company at Tower Co. Into the first quarter, Brentwood Academy 3, JP 2, 21. Kevin Creasy wants an explanation. Boy, you don't want to get in an argument with Coach Kevin Creasy. I know I don't, that's for sure. <laughs> he knows the game. You're not going to win that very often. No. Uh, Coach Creasy, since he's been coaching 6A, arrived in 2015. He's lost to Hoover. He's lost to Whitehaven. He's lost to Maryville. Those are the only three teams that's beat him that I can think of. And he's also beat two out of those three teams, too. Yep, he's beaten Whitehaven, and he's beaten the Maryville. The only team he had in, I don't know, we'll go back us. down to Hoover. Yeah. Judy and I got a little <laughs> taste of Hoover. Was you down at Hoover when uh, we took Juwan Jennings and went down there? And uh, I was after I graduated. 
Uh, Judy and I went to Birmingham, and uh, Tom Crager and I did a playoff uh, bracket. That's when they had the Z formula or whatever. Yeah, yeah. He was the only one that could figure out the playoffs. We stayed up till 3, 4 o'clock in the morning and released it. And that's when John Jones was calling me. John was calling me, but he was. But John's in South Dakota. Where are we playing? Yeah, where are we playing? I wouldn't give him the answer because <laughs> we had the video. He wasn't my sponsor then. I'd probably have to tell him now. <laughs> we appreciate you, John. We hope you kill a lot of pheasant tomorrow and have a great time. Be careful. But the most big part is have fun, and we can't thank you enough for stroking that check out. And John Jones will be right up here in the booth next week. No matter what, he says he's coming up and going to be on the air with us. So we'll hear a lot about homes and hear a lot about what's going on in John Jones, our sponsor. And look at that, kids, right out of the end zone. 5.54 left. Plenty of time left for Trey Turk to do something, Anthony. And you want to start right now, don't you? Yeah, I mean, you got to you got to get another score before you go into the half, Stork. I think that for the momentum of this football team, for one and two, for the confidence on that Mount Juliet sideline. And Mount Juliet's a good football at, team. Yeah, with what they're looking at right now, you know, <laughs> things are. I know it's early, but things are looking kind of grim. You know, you got to put something together here. I mean, Mount Juliet, they beat uh, they beat a tough Stewart's Creek. We saw a few of their games. Uh, they played against a tough Oak Ridge. Got beat by Hendersonville. That's a false start. It'll cost them five, Coach. It'll be first and 15, and that's going to be from the 15. 5.54 left to go in the first. Beautiful night here on the campus of Oakland High School. Uh, Oakland and Riverdale, the two oldest schools in Rutherford County. From the desk of Tom Crager, Pearl Cone 14, East Nashville, zero. First and 15 now for Swarner. He needs to do something. Steven Swoner. Sal on that left side. Jamari Sal. And he's going to get five of it back, Anthony. It's going to be second down, second and ten. And offensively, they've been having the most success with Sal. I mean, they, they run him on first down. He's getting four or five. And then they abandon him. So He's a 5'9", 160-pound senior. So this will be the last time we see Jamari Sal. I'd go back to him. I would, too. I'd run, run, running. About like they did to Quante Shannon against against uh, Stewart Street. Yeah, exactly. He probably right. had 50 carries in that ball game. Now, Cole like. 49, Kingston 0, and Gary Rankin's going to roll. On the left side, is that Conlon Baggett? Yes, I believe so. I can't see. Yes, it is. Conlon Baggett is who they give it to. That's the guy that, that, that does a lot of running for them. Tackle made in there by number 26. Let's get uh, McGee, uh, get, get McGee a little shout out as it's third down, third and five. Trey Perry now sending Steven Swoner in with the play. And, and they're way on that far side, Anthony. If I'm not mistaken, Mount Juliet has only converted on one third down so far tonight. So it's a long 5-2, coach. We'll see what happens here. Swoner, they're in a tight set. Got Conlon Baggett. They take. Watch Jamari the Sal, action. they got Sal down there on that left side. Sal in motion. And they gave it to Sal, and there was a. We're going to have an illegal illegal shift right yeah, here, I think. Yeah, you can't have two men moving at the same time when the ball goes off. That is called an illegal shift. And now you're going to have, you're looking at a where you got to throw the ball. You can't give to Sal. I think it's too far now. Yeah. Uh, 20, Greenfield, uh, Coalfield 20, and Greenback 14. I tried to combine two schools and make a new one. Greenback's I got a wagon. I got some stats here from the desk of Dean Fox, so just hold tight. On the scoring drive, that was seven plays, 77 yards, three minutes and 31 seconds run off the clock. James with a six-yard touchdown, Oakland 21. Jordan James, eight carries, 76 yards, and three TDs. Here we go, Swanner rolling this way. He's got the heat. They're coming after him. He throws it. It's intercepted, kids. It's intercepted. He stepped out of bounds, but he's got the INT. He wanted to pick six, number 26, Alson McGee. And when you're when you're a quarterback like that, under pressure, you're rolling out of the pocket. I know it's hard to try to to try to keep your composure, and you want to make something happen. But that was just not a very good decision right there by Swoner throwing that football. First and 10 now for the Oakland Patriots, and they'll operate 
from the Hendersonville 20-yard line. Plenty of time for Kevin Creasy based on what we've seen so far, and he's going to switch it up. He's going to Victor Stevenson as a signal caller. So Stevenson will run the offense. Got Jordan James. You see him right there in that slot, number two, Momo. Look at here, Victor Stevenson up the middle, and Victor's going to get two and then just slam. QB sneak on first down. Yeah, (laughs) you slam to the earth. I like it, though. Tackle made by number 46, uh, Michael Michael Workings. Yeah, and right here, if you're Oakland, I mean, you can really blow this thing open right here before halftime. You're going to get the ball back again, too, to start the second half. Oh, it's just bad news. You take news. control right here if you put this thing in yeah. the end zone before halftime. Oliver Springs, 22, Cloudland, 20. Better than that, Judy the Beauty is just bringing Watch. that picture right to you, kids. Watch up there at the top of the Jordan, screen if they go play action. Jordan James right behind Victor Stevenson and Patterson's there. They do, there well, it look is. At Victor Stevenson's going to take it on a Wildcat, rolling. He's going to be tackled by number 30 quickly. And that's Donatelli, Christian Donatelli, the 5'11", 165-pound senior linebacker. And I, I, I'm kind of sort of picking up on the game plan of Oakland, too. They're trying to get they're trying to get pillows going one way and that defensive line going one way. They've done a lot of misdirection stuff themselves, but for them, it's really worked out well, too, because running the, as far as running the football goes, they're having success with that, and it's opened up in the passing game. From the 19, Moore County, 21, Huntington, 8. But from the 19, Schlachter will go to work. Jordan James right behind him. Faked it kind of just a delay, and then Schlachter going to let it go. Well, he wanted Horton. We're going to have a pass uh, interference A little pass call. interference. They're going to catch 22. Yep. Montreal Bandy, and uh, not good. Not good. That's going to get you a first down, Coach. Uh, yeah, and I do have to honestly agree with the call, I think, too, because right there, if you're Bandy, he doesn't get his head around quick enough. And I think he was playing more the receiver than he was the football. If you play the football, you don't get the flag tossed on you that time. Wow. They're booing on the other side of the field, but and understandably so. But Coach Creasy used to coach at around. Trousdale County, and it's 0-0 zero, zero with Bledsoe, second quarter, 140 left. Bledsoe. Bledsoe County. Can't say I've ever been there. Uh, you probably were there. You just didn't know it. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Either way, 231. So Coach Creasy doesn't have to be in any type of hurry based on the offense we've seen tonight. And it's not that Trey Perry, you know, not that they're not good football players. I mean, it's just that, golly, Oakland's really good, kids, really good. Schlachter, and we're going to work with Patterson, number three, Antonio Patterson, and they're going to also work with Momo, Jordan James. Pulls it from Patterson. Schlachter looking, catching a little heat. Nice pass. Isn't that just beautiful? I mean, they go Text play ball. action right there, and it, it freezes the linebackers. It freezes the safeties. He had three guys wide open in the end zone. At that point, it's just pick one. Touchdown, Dobbs. Touchdown, Oakland. Jason Dobbs' his son. And... Uh, Coach Dobbs is now his, is, uh, a part of the Oakland Patriot football squad and uh, his son Bryson catching that TD. Trey Turk is clocking in for this PAT. And he gets it. What a beautiful first half as it's 28 to three. And I, I, I mean, you just can't take it away from Oakland. They've done a really good job tonight. I mean, Jordan James left, Jordan James right. Isaiah Horton mixed in. I mean, they're throwing the football well, too, Stork. They're <laughs> Ian Schlachter's having a great night throwing the football. The only mess up was the block punt earlier. And other than that, that's about and the only- And even with the block punt, the defense bowed up, and they only gave up three points. You know, like they're, they're playing a very, very good football game right now, and it's spiraling out of control on the other side for Mount Juliet, and they've got, they better put something together pretty quick. Good pasture, 41, CAC, 17, 718 left to go in the third. And if you just didn't hear, they announced a big thank you for us. I can't thank enough to John, uh, John Marshall, the principal here at Oakland High School. I'll also the director of schools here in Rutherford County. He's got a big job. His name's Bill Spurlock, and he, he and I have a great relationship, and I can't thank you enough, Mr. Spurlock, for everything you do. 
Also, people like Stephen Luker out at Rockville, they let us come over there. Uh, Riverdale let us come over. And uh, they let us come over down at Stewart's Creek where Henry and Blackman Nathan too. are. Yeah, Blackman, uh, Mr. Uh, Kid Hartsfield and, and those guys. Mr. Lawless, always excellent. USJ 14, MTCS 0. Here we go. Trey Turk. And that's just the end zone kick, Anthony. Textbook again as he almost, he kicked it out of the football field and into the pasture. But uh, going to start from the 20. And if, if you're Trey Perry, what do you do, Anthony? you got to do something. It's you know, It could possibly turn out to be your last game. You go for it, don't you? I yeah. mean, you, 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 you coach football. Yeah. You don't be relaxed. I mean, the, don't, don't jump off the ship yet. you got a whole half left to play. Two minutes, 23 seconds, and three timeouts. Put something together here. Try to get you a touchdown. Go into the half and reevaluate things. Just nothing there. They went with Colin Baggett. 21 was there on the stop. Ethan McLaurin. And I mentioned Ethan McLaurin earlier. And right there, he just made a play. And what's been so tough for Mount Juliet, too, is just that they haven't been able to sow and bag it. Those are their money guys offensively. And in order for Swoner to be able to throw the ball, he's got to have them on their game because right now Oakland doesn't have to worry about right. the pass because they can't run the ball. I got some stats from Dean Fox of Fox at Rocks. Four plays, 20 yards, one minute and 36 seconds off the clock. Oakland 28, Mount Juliet 3. 5.54 left to go in the first half. Pitch. Whoa. They went with Jamari Sal in the pitch. And, I mean, snuffed it out. Number 22, Eric Taylor was there. Taylor about got back there quick enough to where he probably could have caught the pitch and ran it into the end zone. I mean, just nothing going right there. And Third and 16 I is mean, what it is. And all just, balls on the rough, 14. It's rough, rough, choppy water so far tonight for the Golden Bears. <laughs> Well, the ball's marked on the 14, third, third down, third and 16. Boy, it's been a beautiful night. Here we go. Sam's got me another one. McCauley, 21, Christian Brothers, 7. And so, if, you know, Fred, Ralph Potter's given uh, Coach Thomas McDaniel all he wants. If he don't do something quick, that one's going to spin out of control. Swoner hands it off. They give it to Conlon Baggett and not much there. They're going to make Oakland burn a timeout. Also, uh, Ethan McLaren and number 23, Jarrell Franklin, was in there on the stop and timeout on the field. Because of the field goal, even if you get it into the end zone, you can't get it to a running clock just yet. No. But, I mean, I'm sure, you know, with 49 seconds, depending on where you get the ball with this punt, the way they've been throwing the ball, Kevin Creasy is still going to try and go for it, try to get some more points here before the half. Well, he's put on a show here the first half, uh, first half, and giving giving me a night uh, some great plays. You know, unbelievable offensive play by them and defensively also. Jordan James has just been spectacular. The guys down at Unit told me he was special, and guys, he is. Alcoa 56, Kingston, nothing. That game is toast, Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> Gary Rankin, kids, he will hit 450 if he hadn't already. That may be win number 450. He may have broke it. Uh, he is close to 500 wins. He's in the Hall of Fame. He's on inside the headset, and he's a heck of a coach. One of the best to ever do it. Yes, and he coached over at Riverdale and beat our brains in. I mean, beat them in, kids. Nobody beat Gary Rankin. He got all the players. And he got all the points, and he got all the rings, and then he left us and he went to Alcoa, and he's got a bunch more rings since then. I think he's got 15, 14 rings. He's got enough rings to open a jewelry store. Boy, special teams. I think Isaiah Horton was in there on that almost blocked it. Victor Stevenson's going to run this one from the 50. Woo. Whoa, he locked up 45. To, oh. oh Did you see that lockup? Right Uh-oh, a little pushing and shoving. 11 was into it. Ethan Brown. They're getting chippy. I think They're we're going to have a little block in the back yeah, right here. Yeah, getting chippy. <laughs> that was a nice little move right there on the return, though. Yes. You local folks, we will be getting out of here early, and we will be headed to Jonathan. So just uh, for the post game after this game, my referee, uh, Thomas Sharon, who wears a white hat, little block in the back. It'll be 10 yards from the spot of the foul. 37 seconds left. 
what is Coach Creasy going to try to do? He's getting the ball at the start of the second half. And, I mean, with the lead you got right now, why not try and go for it, you know? I don't know. You, you, can, be, you, can, you can afford to be aggressive Take a knee right and here. let's go in. Let's talk about it. Coach Creasy may just take a knee. And it's looking just like that, kids. He's going to take a knee, and we're going to get out of this first half. Red Bank 24, Brainerd 6. It's got that feel. No, here we go. We got an offensive play running this way. 45, 50, up to the 45, up to the 40. Patterson 30, 25. Patterson, wow. Yeah, he got out of bounds, too. That'll stop the clock. Going to score again. Johnny, Wanda, boy's doing good, isn't he? Bradley Central 0, Marable 35. That's in a running clock, and Bradley Central season will end. Wow. Ball's on the 24. Fresh set of four. And we got Momo in there. Let's just see what he does. Slachter. Claps. Looking, looking. Found somebody. Let's it go. Oh. Horton was double covered, and guess what? We got a pass interference. This might go on. I don't know. This might. This one might possibly go on Horton as well. There was a little bit of hand fighting down there. Uh, nope, they're going to call it on Mount Juliet. That'll be a first down and, and some yardage. Kevin Creasy's getting ready to get yummy field position. All right, right there, they got Horton on a little stop and go route. A good job by uh, Schlachter on that pump fake too. Fayetteville eight, Huntland zero. Look at this, kids. You you can't tell me this isn't yummy field you position still, with you twenty still got seconds two left. Two timeouts also. So you could almost, even if you wanted to, consider running the ball right here. Because you got two timeouts to work with. Let's see what he does. If he runs it, he's going to give it to Jordan James or Victor Stevenson because both of them are right back behind. Schleichter to the left. No, bringing it this way. Looks like number 22. That's who it is. Eric Taylor. Touchdown, Eric Taylor. Touchdown, Oakland Patriots. And I mean, you can just chalk it up, Stork. I know we said it again earlier, but Oakland is just absolutely physically beating Mount Juliet's front seven down big time. Brentwood Academy 17, JP2 21. That's a good game going on, kids. And Trey Turk, the SEC kicker, comes on. They can almost do whatever they want offensively. Sam, uh, we need insane. a Hendersonville. Sam, we need a Hendersonville uh, Riverdale score. And if we can the, get a Tullahoma Marshall County score, too, Well, that ain't like going to do that. nothing for me, Anthony. I'm worried about who's coming here next week. I already, <laughs> I mean, I'm worried about a broadcast. Uh, Trey Turk dots that eye, 35, 33, 35 to three. What a first half. Kids, you have to enjoy it. And i tell you why you're enjoying it, because number one, John Jones and John Jones Real Estate paid for this thing. Number two, Judy the Beauty is doing an awesome job. And it's just a beautiful night here in Rutherford County. We can't thank John Marshall enough. My guy back in Louisville, the engineer, he wrote the app. It's out there. It's in the Google Play Store. It's in the Apple iTunes Store. It's called Stork Vision. Just download it. Man operating the stats. His name's Dean Fox. My color guy tonight, Anthony Fiorella. My name's Stork Montgomery, and I run this company. It's called Stork Vision. We appreciate you joining us. What a first half. Yeah, what a first half is right. I mean, it was a big play early by Mount Juliet, and you were thinking, man, you know, <laughs> this is going to be a good ball game. But, I mean, and it still is a good ball game. Oakland is just putting we on We get Riverdale into the winner's throw. circle. We'll have another battle of the borough. John Jones Real Estate is ready to come back, and John is going to be my color guy and help Anthony and I next week and offer some insight. John played football at Riverdale. John builds homes here, and uh, his son played at Oakland. So he's got a lot of knowledge. He knows the game well. And John played college football at Tennessee Tech University. John is a football man. He's in great shape, too. Rides a bicycle. And he, nobody sold more homes in Rutherford County than John Jones. It's, it's not even close, kids. He's... It's like a thousand. It's like thousands that separate him and number two. Well, Stork, I mean, 
Uh, you just not. What are you going to do if you're Hendersonville uh, here? If you're Mount Juliet. And you I mean, take, Mount Juliet, um, excuse me. I keep you seeing just gotta, that. You just got to. Judy's pat me. Bad, it, well, no. It, you, you, know just what, gotta, you got to take a knee. And you got to lick is your Is it the color of the uniforms? Is it? The, is that what I'm getting at? I mean, they Mount, are similar. Yeah, they Hendersonville, similar. Mount Juliet, the same colors. They take Jamari Sal, go to that other side. He's going to go out of bounds. Yep. Six, Six seconds, seconds left. left. But, I mean, uh, the way you got to look at it is, like, look, <laughs> we're going to have to execute and play just about a flawless second half. I yeah. Mean, it ain't over till it's over, but I got you some gotta, stats. you're going to have to come out. I got some stats from the Fox at Rocks. Three plays. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I got to zoom in. Three plays, 62 yards, 25 seconds went off the clock. Oakland 35, Mount Juliet 3. 5.54 left to go in the second quarter from the Fox that rocks. Dean. Couldn't do it without him. They give it to Damien. And that's going to get us out of it, kids. That's the end of the first half. I hope everybody's enjoyed it. Going to take a quick break. We're going to come back and bring you 24 minutes. It's going to be 24 minutes pretty quick. Because uh, it's not a running clock yet, Anthony. One Can more take score. One edge, more score. Though. We need one more score. I do have an update on that Riverdale game. It is still tied, and thank you, Sam. Riverdale, Hendersonville, tied at seven in the second quarter. Can't thank everybody enough. Stay with us. I'll be back with 24 minutes.
And Ty Nix has just <laughs> texted me and said, man, you got to love a blowout, Mr. Stark. And I said, I do. He likes a blowout. Ty Nix, uh, one of the best in the biz, and we love hearing his color call. Uh, Sam, just let me know. Uh, I was talking about Coach Gary Rankin. He's in the Hall of Fame. Kids, 450 wins. He just got his 450th win tonight. And a big picture out there uh, by Alcoa Sports on their Twitter of him uh, getting that. Got a Riverdale score for you, Storm. Shoot it to me, and then I'm going to read you some Half stats. time, it is 14-7, to 7, and then that Tullahoma game, they're up 27 nothing at halftime. Well, uh, you know, and Sam says uh, McCauley is uh, – they're getting after uh, uh, Coach Thomas McDaniel, and that score is spinning out of Coach McDaniel's fingertips if he don't do something quick uh, against the Blue Tornadoes of McCauley. I'm going to read you some stats now. Mount Juliet, they had two first downs the whole first half. And Oakland had eight rushing yards. Mount Juliet 47, Oakland 187 on the ground. Mount Juliet had one yard passing, and Oakland had 101 in the air. Total yards, Mount Juliet Golden Bears 48 and 288 total yards for um, 288 yards total. Well, I just lost that text. Sam's firing me up. Hold on. Let's get back to that. I'm so sorry. I'm getting like 10 ticks at once, and they're interrupting me. Okay. Uh, passing yard, uh, uh, total yards, yeah, 288 for Oakland. Your penalties, Mount Juliet Golden Bears, five penalties for 40 yards. Oakland had two penalties for 20 yards. Turnovers, Mount Juliet had one turnover, and that's Dean Fox, the fox that rocks. He's in the house. We can't thank you enough, Dean, for what you do. And uh, they just got a big banner of Coach Gary Rankin, 450 wins. There he is. He's going to get 500 kids. That's what he's going to do. Yeah, but, he's still got plenty of football left in him. Well, if you win 14, 14 games, uh, you win 14 games a year. It ain't going to take you long, is it? Is no. It, uh, in mean, three years, you can get uh, – you can get 43. Yeah. And, 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 and that was a final, Sam says. Uh, Alcoa 56, Rome County, Kingston 0. And Gary Rankin rolls as he's now in the third round of the playoffs. And, of course, Maribel's in the third round of the playoffs. And, of course, my sponsor, John Jones Real Estate. Nobody sells homes like John. He's the best, and he'll be up here next Friday night on the headset and working this thing with us. Guy that wears the white hat, Thomas Sharon, he's gonna make all the calls for the second half. I'd like to remind you, uh, Oakland's gonna get the ball starting the second half. They deferred the first half, and uh, so they're gonna get the ball coming back. Uh, Johnny and Wanda, Creasy, you're out there watching. Hopefully we are doing a good job. That's Coach Creasy's parents. And uh, get well soon to Claude Gentry. That's uh, my good friend's uh, dad. He's in the hospital, and we hope you get well soon, Claude. Independence 21, Brentwood 7. In the final on that Maryville, Bradley Central did score, Anthony. They scored six points, 35 to six. So it, it was a rolling clock. Maybe it wasn't there. Could have been a, t you know. And so now the Maryville fans will be tuning into my broadcast, and we're glad you could join us, Maryville Rebels. And we're getting ready for the second half. Judy the Beauty will operate the camera. Dean Fox, the Fox that rocks. He'll run the stats. Anthony Fiorello on color. My name's Stuart Montgomery. I'm going to run the play-by-play. -play. And my sponsor is John Jones Real Estate. Sam Montgomery, he's the engineer. He wrote the app. And he's going to be bringing me the scores as we get ready for another 24 minutes of the Mount Juliet Golden Bears and the Oakland Patriots. Good pasture, 48, CAC, 30. And Independence 21, Brentwood 7, and Sam was questioning that Independence Brentwood. But Sam says uh, one kid scored all the touchdowns for Brent, for Independence as they lead Ron Crawford in the Brentwood Bruins, and that could be tough. Yeah. And just here in about 24 minutes, somebody's going to be putting their helmet up, Anthony. Yeah, and the way things are looking. For, it's going to uh, be Mount Julia. Yeah. Uh, it, they're going to have to play a flawless half of football if yeah. they're going to get back into this thing. And they're going to have to find a way to stop Jordan James Momo because he's done a lot of damage in that first half. Schlachter reports in. He's going to run the offense for the Oakland Patriots. 
And the ball's marked just at the 20-yard line, and here they come. They go send Isaiah Horton up there at the top of the screen. They bring number 10 down here, Foglia. So Creasy getting in a few extra, and Jordan James gives it to Jordan James on that right side, up to the 30. He's spinning, and up to the 36-yard line, he's tackled by number 30, Anthony Donatelli, Christian Donatelli. Yeah, and just right up the gut. I mean, they've been doing it all night. They know that they can get Jordan James there in between the tackles. That's where he's effective, hits the hole quick, doesn't play around. Chain game moves, Boxman resets that electronic number to one. And Ian Schlachter's got a fresh set of four. He's got Jordan James right behind him. And they're ready, got twins down here. Send James in motion as the relief and throw a swing pass. Oh, you almost had it. And kids, he took off. Brentwood Academy 24, JP 221. That's a great game, Sam. And Brentwood Academy's come back on Pope John Paul II. That's where Golden Tate played, kids. Golden Tate played at JP 2. So second down, second and 10. The ball's marked just at the 36. Great night for football. Just getting started here in the second half, and we appreciate you joining us on Stark Vision. All right. We got a Horton down here. But let's see what they do. Looks like we got Victor Stevenson in there. That's who it is. Victor fakes right. Now he's going to fakes left and runs right. Excuse me. I had a misdirection on my on my call there. Either way, it's second down and second and six. Anthony, the ball's marked at the 35. Yeah, and they didn't have a whole, whole lot of success. Or 40, excuse me. They didn't have a whole, whole lot of success with Victor Stevenson running the ball earlier in the game. Here in this second half, you know, he's a guy that's a more patient runner. I would assume that he's going to get some more carries here as they try to milk the clock. They bring Schlachter in and also Dobbs. Bryson Dobbs, number four. Horton comes down here by us. And Bryson Dobbs, number four. Throw it to Isaiah Horton. He's at the 50, 45, and he, boy, reaches up, Anthony, to the 41. Yeah, just a, a quick slant right there. You know, if, if Mount Juliet's going to sag off and play zone coverage, that's the most perfect play you can call right there, a quick slant. Get it out of your hand quick if you're Schlachter. Get a guy like Horton the ball in space, he can hurt you. Oakland Patriots making it look simple against Trey Perry and the Mount Juliet Bears. Fresh set of four given to the Ian Schlachter and company as they'll operate just from the 42-yard line of the Golden Bears. Twins to the top, one to the bottom. Let's see what they do. Going to throw it. And they complete it out there to number 18, Xavier Patterson. Yeah, quick hitch right there to Patterson. You know, that's a good play call right there on first down. Get you a couple of yards. You can pretty much call virtually whatever you want at this point now. We got about five and a half. Let's call it second to four and three quarters. And the ball is going to be marked just at the 37-yard line. That kick the clock is going to continue to work. 4.50 as we roll through the third quarter very quickly. Oakland coming to the line. They bring Isaiah Horton down here by us. And we got number 18, Xavier Patterson at the top, along with number 10, Foglia. And they give it to Jordan James. He's coming this way, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. We're going to have a hold on Isaiah uh, Horton. Did you see how, even though they got that hold, did you see how Jordan James just tippy toed down that sideline and oh, stayed right in? I mean, it was a <laughs> beautiful Stayed beautiful right in bounds. Yeah. And they're going to catch uh, Isaiah Horton here for a little holding. And that's going to take it back 10 yards from the spot of the foul. But still, a good, nice pickup by Horton. And they're just, Patriots making it look easy. A good move by James at the line of scrimmage on that run, too. Made a, a good cut to his left, a quick little stutter step. Man, I tell you what, that kid's electric running the football store. Gatlinburg, Pittman, 14, Pigeon Forge, 7. Mm, that's Cole a good ball Fi game. Coalfield, 26, and Greenback, 21. There's another good one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Greenback's a team that's competed for the state championship these last couple of years. Steven, that'd be a big win for Steven Hensley played for Coalfield, and I sent him to UT years and years ago. Schlachter rolling to the right, looking, 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 looking. He's going to keep it himself. He runs right up the middle. Oh, nice run by Schlachter as he gets it up to the 15. He's tackled by number five, Anthony, Grady Mang. And Grady Mang is 
Had a big interception last Friday night. Yeah, and a good job by Schlachter right there, too. He knew he had that guy behind him, felt the pressure, got away just in time, and he saw a lane, took it himself. He's second down, and it's second and one. This could be an easy running play. We look for Kevin Creasy to call something on the ground. No sense in putting in the air, and he's got his he's got his bell cow back there, Jordan James. I know Coach Creasy. I want to see all I could of Jordan James, and I've gotten a good taste of him. He's the tailback, and we give it to him again up the middle, kids. Touchdown, Momo! Touchdown, Jordan James. That's number four tonight, kids. Pistol he set right there, Stork. They pull the right guard, Knox. Does a good job kicking out that defensive end. Bryson Dobbs gets in there, hits a linebacker. That's bread and butter right there. Stork doesn't get any better than that. Trey Turk's going to come in and clock in and dot that I. Make it seven more points. Go put the clock in a spinning motion. And Trey Turk's season could be ending quickly. Trey Turk, he's an SEC kicker to be. Boom. Hey, he kicking ACC, kids. He kicking ACC, the SEC, the Big Ten. Trey Turk kick anywhere he wants to. We've had uh, several good kickers. We uh, saw the kid down there at Stewart's Creek. He's an excellent kicker. Yeah. Yes, he was. We saw him hit a 45-yarder. Yeah, I thought one night he was going to kick it all the way to Jonathan's. <laughs> And now, Stork, with that score, of course, like you always like to say, I like the saying, when Rabbit's got the gun, it ain't no fun. No. The clock's going to start rolling quick now. Yeah, when you're playing against the clock and the score, Coach Ab taught me that one a long time ago. He says his daddy taught him, when the Rabbit gets the gun, it ain't no fun. And that comes from uh, the schooling of Coach Patrick Abernathy. Jordan James, Momo. Boy, he looks good tonight. I'll be waiting for those stats from Dean Fox, the Fox that rocks. Trey Turk set to kick it off as we roll into a rolling clock here at Ray Hughes Dean, Stadium. Dean, if you can get this to us, quick question for you. I'm sure he's already, Jordan James, I'm sure he's already up over 200 yards already tonight. Can you confirm that for us? Elizabethton 35, East Hamilton 7. Dean Fox has got it. He's going to give it to me. Just give me a minute. A Schlachter set to kick. Or Trey Turk, I get these two mixed up and why, I don't even know. Trey Turk lets it go. And they're going to take it gonna, gonna take it from the 20, Anthony, with 829 and a rolling clock. See it spinning up there? There it goes, yep. It's Doesn't in the stop. motion now. Unless you call timeout, that thing is not stopping. Loudon 28, Upperman, the B0. So the Bs, and uh, Jimmy Maynard uh, talked to me about it. They, uh, they play Upperman. They play Livingston Academy. They play White County. Uh, and they play Sparta. Those are a couple of non-district football games that he will not trade. Big games for Cookville, Big Gate. Going to work with Conlon Baggett as the tailback, and Swanner is the, is the signal caller. And going to break. Oh, looky here, kids. Whoa. Big number 21 got up in there, Ethan McLaurin, and I said he'd make a play, and he sure did. And they get I, I think we have a change at quarterback, actually. That looks like Bryce Messenger in there. It could, 19. Yeah, Jamari Sal on the carry. Wonder what's going on with Swoner. Let's see if he comes back in. Yeah, that is Messenger down there. It sure is. Number 18, he's right. Bryce Messenger. Thank you, Anthony, for the pickup on that. Swoner. Oh. And Ethan McLaurin got him again, kids. He got him again, the quarterback. And Oakland's selling out. You know they're going to blitz right there. Messenger doesn't pick it up and change the play. And when you're rolling to your left as a right-handed quarterback. That ain't good. It's not good because you got to be able to get your feet set to get off a good throw right there. And there's just nothing he could do. It's like sticking your elbow in your ear. You just can't do it. Ball's yeah. marked on the six-yard line <laughs> on third down. You just can't take your elbow and jam in your ear. It's not humanly possible. It's just not humanly possible. It's like someone told me, if you get a live oak to grow in Rutherford County, you you, you defied Mother Nature, son. <laughs> Bryce Messenger, the signal caller, and going to give a, a simple handoff. 
Conlon bag it up the middle and it's gonna make it fourth down. I got some stats here from Dean Fox, the Fox at Rocks and Anthony wanted it. Here's what you got. Eight plays, 80 yards, three minutes and 25 seconds. Jordan James, he's got 11 carries, 130 yards and four TDs. 130, thank you, Dean. I'm sure he'll get 200 tonight though. They and, keep running him. Yeah, and uh, Trey Perry going to do the smart thing here and try to punt it and and put a little bit of real estate on Kevin Creasy and the Oakland Patriots as they're starting to get happy here at Ray Hughes Stadium in a running clock. Punter backed up. Whoa, in the end zone. Just sent a little bit enough heat, and Victor Stevenson's going to fair catch it just at the 44, and that's where the Oakland Patriots will start their offense. Still starting on the plus side of the field. You're going to get a good spot. They actually marked it at the 45. Appreciate those Maribel fans joining us. Hope you're getting a little taste of Jordan James as he's had a great night tonight, kids. He's got four touchdowns, 130 yards. He looks good. Giles County 14, Stewart County 21 in the second quarter. First and 10 for the Patriots. And let's see what they do. Schlachter. Eye formation. Yep, old-fashioned eye. Jordan James coming, spinning. Ooh, oh, beautiful. Ooh. He's up to the 38, kids. <laughs> Even when he only carries it for five or six it, yards, It looks man, good. I, it looks great. <laughs> Tackle made by number five, and Little that's Grady May. Right there. Called his name a while ago. He had a really big interception man, last that, week that against Warren that, County. That kid that Oakland just ran out there, number 35, Khalil James, sophomore running back. I don't, know if, I don't know if he's over five foot five. Well, he's let's back see. there in the backfield now. Well, Kevin Creasy's getting ready to give him the football. Let's see what he can do. They're going to keep it on the ground. Yep. James up the middle. He's running up. To, oh, nice. Six yards. Yeah. Getting into the varsity action, learning how. He'll be coming out here next year. Tackle made by number five, Grady Main. Yeah, a couple of the JV guys getting into the game right now for Oakland. Chain gang a move. Boxman will put it back to one. And Schlachter comes back on with the offensive play. Going to keep Isaiah Horton in there. Got big number 61 in there for the Patriots. Graham Keating, he's been pushing people around all night long. He's going to the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, to play football for the running Rebs. Schlachter going to run with number 35. And that's Woo! Keely James. Touchdown, James. Touchdown, <laughs> Oakland. Size. <laughs> Sometimes stork size doesn't matter. I tell you what, that kid's just as fast as Jordan James. Speed what kills. a run right there for number 35, Khalil James. The sophomore gets into the end zone. Khalil James, you'll hear that name a lot more. Westview 7, South Gibson 7. And Trey Turk comes on. Great moment for that young man getting the score on yep. Friday night in the playoff. Yeah, Ravenwood 21, four, or Ravenwood 21, Franklin 14. It's an untimed down. Pop. You got it. So, uh, Trey Turk had one blocked at the start of the game, and uh, he's come back and look at that score, kids. Three, 49 three, three. unanswered points for Oakland. 49 to 3. Uh, it, it's, uh, it seems like so long ago you forget. Now, Juliet scored first. It was 3 nothing at one point, but. So Ravenwood 21 and Franklin 14, and that's in the third quarter. What you need, Judy the Beauty? You're operating the camera. You're doing a great job. What can I do for you? I do not know. That's Khalil James and Jordan James. We'll just have to ask Coach Kevin Creasy. That is a great question. If somebody knows, are. If somebody knows that, if Khalil James and Jordan James are related, please hit me. Maybe Coach Abernathy's still listening, listening or somebody like that. One of them old Una boys can let me know. We appreciate our sponsor tonight, John Jones. John Jones Real Estate. He's paid for this whole thing as he is pheasant hunting in South Dakota. And he'll be back next week to be on Stork Vision. Can't wait to have, have him up. I'm going up to Paris next Saturday to do a little deer hunting. Up to, up to Paris, Paris, Tennessee, up by the land between the lakes. Yep. We, I used, when I worked at Crown, there used to be a, a wild tower story up there at Paris. You have between to fill me the, in at Jonathan's. Well, tonight. it was between the landowner and uh, it, was a, it was a jacked up deal. We got straightened out. I did. 
some guy was representing somebody and he said he was supposed to get the check. It was like, guy that owns the land gets the check, guy's name's on the lease. So anyway, beautiful night here. And can't thank Judy Beauty enough. Man, she is just operating the camera. Judy, the Judy, swing down there. That big helmet, the National Guard helmet is here. Uh, before we, yeah, just give me a little swing. Look there, kids. Big blow-up helmet by the National Guard as they, they are doing a little bit of advertising here at Ray Hughes Stadium. Did a big play to the left, didn't they? Yeah, the JV defense is in for Oakland right now. And I'm sure Coach Trey Perry with the clock starting to dwindle and stuff is probably going to try and get as many of his seniors out on the field as he can. And why not? Try to give them a try So to Anthony give them has noticed that we got a lot of kids into the game that don't get to play that often. And that's always a task for a head coach trying to keep them organized. Bryce Messenger faked the handoff, rolling this way, lets it go, and he completes it. 35, 40, up to the 45. A Conlon bag it up, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. He's got wheels. That's Conlon Baggett. Touchdown. No, it's Cameron Malone. So touchdown, Cameron Malone. Touchdown. Mount Julia Golden Bears. Yeah, he just did a good job in open space right there, you know, making the catch and realized he had plenty of real estate to work with and just turned on the Jets. Uh, Oakland wanted a little bit of a block in the back down here. I thought I saw it too, but no flag thrown, and Mount Julia's able to get themselves Nice job the by zone. Cameron Malone. Sorry about that. Touchdown, Malone. Touchdown, Mount Julia Golden Bears now on for the PAT. Swoner's going to hold, though, so Steven Swoner in there to hold number four. Boom. It splits upright. Good play. Only thing I could think of is why Messenger's probably in the game. He's he a is senior. listed as a senior. So. Bryce Messenger listed as a senior, completed that pass to Cameron Malone, who's also a senior. So Trey Perry getting some senior work in. And uh, you're not going to veer too much on this kick on special teams, as you can see. He's got a lot of uh, he's got uh, a lot of guys in there. See Victor Stevenson. He's going to come out. He's a special teams guy. Jordan James is going. Jordan James is probably done for the night. They're, he's taking off his jersey. He's done. Yep, uh, he's done. He's going to tell. They probably told him take your shoulder pads off. That's it. Yep, he's done. There he is. Jordan James, he had a heck of a night tonight. He good looking kid. As we're waiting for the kickoff here. Is the clock spinning, Anthony? No, not yet. Okay. Got a I think few, you gotta wait till you kick the ball. Got a few ticks coming in and probably uh, Once they kick the ball, it'll keep on going. All right, he got a few scores here. Riverside 6, Lewis County 0, BGA 7, ECS 7. Summit 21 and Columbia's 14. And more people picking up on Twitter. We appreciate you guys. Appreciate everybody tuning in and watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Gary Rankin gets his 450th win tonight. And there's the Fox at Rocks with my stats. Just a second. Two plays, 80 yards, buck 38 off the clock. Mount Juliet has 119 yards total for the game. And Oakland has 423 yards of offense. It's like a college offensive night for Oakland. They're going to bring Schlachter in to run the offense. They're going to send number 18 out there, Xavier Patterson. Let's see what they do. They keep Graham Keating in there, number 61, kind of hold that line they down. They still got the starting offensive line in, I'm pretty sure. Most of them, it looks like anyways. We're going back with Khalil James. Fantastic runner, just ran while ago, and he's got it again, and He'll go nowhere up against Jeffrey Pillows, big number 99, the 5'11", 270-pound junior. So Pillows will be coming back next year. Charles Dell 7, Bled So County be, 0. They'll be happy to have him back. Mount Juliet does have a lot of talent coming back next year. They're still going to be a good ball club. Yep. 
Ball's marked just at the 21. Clock is spinning and working here at Ray Hughes. Schlachter hands off. Khalil James. He's going to get the first. He, no, he's not. It's going to be third down, kids. Good run right there by James, making a great cut. You know you're not going to get a whole, whole lot, but that extra cut got him another two, three yards on that carry. I knew it was close to we the We may first not have game. another play ran before the end of the quarter, I don't think. There's I 10 knew it seconds was, left. Yeah, I knew it was close to the first down. It's third and three. Just taking your time if you're Ian Schlachter. Khalil James out of a high formation. He's the back guy, and that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's going to be it. Yes, the man that wears the white hat, he's done a great job tonight, Thomas Sharon. Says that's the end of the third quarter as we get ready to enter the fourth quarter of play here at Ray Hughes Stadium. John Jones is the sponsor. John Jones Real Estate. Nobody sells homes like John. Final, Pigeon Forge 7, Gatlinburg Pittman 14. So Gatlinburg Pittman will move on. Wow. And... Uh, Phillip beat Pigeon Forge earlier this year. I think they're the Golden Bears. Gatlinburg Pittman, uh, I think uh, Alcoa Gary Rankin got a hold of them, and that may be who uh, that may be who Gary Rankin plays is Gatlinburg Pittman. I had a buddy that I played with at Blackman that his freshman and sophomore year played for Gatlinburg Pittman before he came and moved here. Good pasture, 61, CAC 36. That's nothing but a boat race over there, Sammy. Yeah. A boat race. And if, if Oakland can continue to move the ball and definitely put one more up on the board, that's that'll definitely be the nail in the coffin here. I mean, it's, it's probably already is, I'm sure. But the, the clock will start, kids, yeah. on the snap like normal, but once it starts, it won't stop. So unless it's just a PAT, anything like that, timeout. They give Khalil James, he's bringing it this side. He's at the 25. They're shirt tackling, jerking him to the ground, and now they're game tackling him as he's at the 22. Stretch play right there. They, they, they like getting him out there in space and as fast as he is. I don't blame them. I don't see if Kevin Creasy decides to go for it or if they're going to punt it here. We've got a timeout. As number five, Grady Main works himself off the field. It's cold out there, kids. See those hands in those pockets? I assure you. Fourth I guess and four. Gonna, I guess they're going to go for it. Why Gotta. not? Keep the ball out of, out of uh, Mount Juliet's hands. McCauley, 42, and Christian Brothers, 14. No, they're going to they're gonna try and get Mount Juliet to jump off sides and then probably burn a timeout and punt. I think that's what they're what's going on here. Lights out for Coach Thomas McDaniel, Sam's as the Blue Tornadoes, McCauley, and Ralph Potter are going get to the, get their say-so. There it right, is. There it is. And it was you pillows. Called it. <laughs> you called it, Anthony, and that's uh, five yards forward. Free first down. Offsides. Anthony called it. That's what they were going to do. Going to keep that ball out of Mount Juliet's hand. Now it's marked on the 30 and a half. Fresh set of four given to the quarterback as they're working with number 10. Let's see. No, they're still working with number eight. They're still working with Schlachter. They're not going to get that out of his hands. Let him operate it. I think the next quarterback that you'd see come in for Oakland would be not 19, Max Levinsky, I believe. Okay. Schlachter with Khalil James in the backfield. Oh, they're they're throwing footballs down here. They give it to Khalil James. He's finally got it, carrying it like a loaf of bread. He's still on his feet and up to the 33. Khalil James, come on, carrier. Tackle made by big number 43 for the Mount Julia Golden Bears. And that's going to be Brayon Patterson. That clock is going to continue to work, kids. As the ball's marked just on the 33-yard line. Second down. See if we can get it to Khalil James and get another nice little run out of him. They do. They give it to him on that left side. Khalil James are jerking his jersey. He's now fumbled the Balls ball. Out. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Now it's Mount Juliet's ball. 
Well, Coach Crease, you'll have to have a little talk to him about that. You got to cover it up. Well, he's a young running back. And, yeah, you know, and they were jerking his arm and his jersey. When, they were they were jerking his arm and his jersey. And when you get into situations like that as a running back, sometimes it's good to just go down because things like that can happen. You well, know? I, you know, I, little I train, he dropped a couple of them in the early days, and then yeah. you, you had to learn. Yeah. Okay, I got learn. some third quarter stats here. First downs, Mount Juliet four, Oakland 14. This is out after three quarters. Rushing yards, Mount Juliet 48, Oakland 306. Passing yards, Mount Juliet 71, Oakland 124. Jamari Sal on that right side, and he's going to get a first down run out of bounds. Total yards, Mount Juliet 119, Oakland 430 yards of total offense. MUS 41, FRHS 17, and that's Franklin Road High School. Is that FRHS or FRA, Sam? Against MUS 41. Look here, gonna hand it off to number 38, Amari and Workings. And got a little chippiness going on out there, Anthony, after the play. And refs don't see it, but that's okay. Yeah, when you get down big like this, sometimes guys get a little mad. Yeah. 848, things, we're going to get out of here at a good time. We're going to be over at Jonathan's here real soon, eating one of them big Cajun pepperoni pizzas, Sam. Mm. We're going to get one tonight. <laughs> I love it. That's where we do all our post-game work is at Jonathan's. Bryce Messenger, the quarterback. He's rolling this way, kids. He's going to keep it on the bootleg himself, but he's in a lot of trouble. This isn't good, Messenger. And they slung him to the earth at 15-yard line. He stayed in bounds, I think. They didn't let him get out. Yeah. Tackle made by number 31 for the Patriots, Lily Chase. Chase Lily, excuse and me. Chase Lily. Keep it on the bootleg right there for Messenger and just nothing doing. Now, Oakland, even this JV defense, doing a good job in pursuit. Yeah, they got Levinsky warming up down here for Oakland. I think Levinsky, he's going to get into the ball Get game. to call that name. So we're going to work from the 15, and Mount Julia trying to put a little few points on the board. Trey Perry, he ain't going to give up. He's going to coach all the way to the end. I don't blame him. Bryce Messenger, the quarterback for the Mount Julia Golden Bears, working with number three, Cameron Malone, as a tailback. Ball. Yeah. Oh, they called him down. Yeah, they gave it to Malone. Not a whole lot there. I like number 44. Let's give him a shout out. Marcus Bullard was in there on the stop. Fourth down and one here. We'll see what they decide to call. Of course, you're going to go for it. Try to get the ball in the end zone. Get as many points out of this as you can. You got the Oakland Patriot band playing on the edge of the track. Watch the belly G right here, Stork, right up the gut. All right, they got Conlon Baggett in there. Nope, they go with Sal. Jamari Sal on that right side. He's getting into some traffic. He's going to get that first down, so he's going to get a fresh set of four. The ball's going to be marked just at the six-yard line. I like number 24 there on that tackle, Stephen Ellison. Sal, of course, uh, like we said earlier, he's a senior. That's their money guy on offense, so I'm sure they'd like to get him in the end zone one more time in his career. Absolutely. Don't know if he's going on to play college football or not. Brentwood Academy 24, JP 221. Third quarter, 11 minutes left. Thank you, Sam. We're going to have a timeout by Oakland. Here. Yeah, I knew that was, Sam. Father, oh, It's Father Ryan. Thank you, Sam. It wasn't Franklin Road. What was I thinking? Father Ryan. F-R-H-S. We don't see it. We call it just Father Ryan. One of those Catholic schools. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not called F-R-H-S here in our community. If you said, oh, I played F-R-H-S, you'd have to think for a minute. Yeah. Everybody calls it Father Ryan. There's Father Ryan, yeah. Now, they know who JP2 is. If so. They know who JP2 is. Pope John Paul II and uh, –
Judy the Beauty is just doing an awesome job bringing you the camera work tonight. And I can't thank enough for John Marshall uh, letting us come out here and do this. Absolutely. Everybody for watching. Oakland, yeah, Oakland broadcast staff's been great. Uh, they've been good to us tonight, and uh, we appreciate them. Here we go, Moore County, 35, Huntington, 14. So Moore County, Anthony, you and I went down to Moore County we to sure a game. sure did. Down Lynchburg. It was cramped up there, wasn't it? Yeah, we like to <laughs> never got a signal out of there, but we did it. Conlon Baggett is the tailback, and they flip it to him on that right side. Conlon. They stood him Ooh. up at the goal line. What a hit. Boy, they hit him hard. <laughs> wow. Number 24 got in there, Stephen Ellison. Man. They said, you ain't getting in just yet there, buddy. <laughs> Go make him work for it. What second down, second and goal. On the half yard line. He'll feel it in the morning, man. I don't want to get hit that hard, kids. I've been hit that hard. I've been hit by that hard by my dad several <laughs> times. Some I needed and some I didn't need. <laughs> ah, just teasing. Judy's jacking me over here. Bryce Messenger, the quarterback. Conlon Baggett, they're going to give it to him, kids. Just like I said, left side, straight in. Touchdown, Conlon Baggett. Touchdown, Mount Jilly Golden Bears. PAT attempt in order. Is that Randy down there shooting pictures, Anthony? I saw some pictures he shot from Riverdale. Uh, uh, who I did they play last I week? I know Helen's here tonight. I yeah. saw Helen. I, I think he might be Randy here. Randy Harris. Well. I thought he shot I was some gonna pictures. Say, he, yeah, saw, shot, he shot some pictures of Riverdale last week. Clock will stop now. Yeah. It's less than 35. Uh, Carson Huss uh, gets him another one. 49-17 with 354 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Mount Juliet's got the got all the lights on on their cell phones over there. <laughs> well, that is a neat little deal with about 25 people. Hope they got enough battery to get home. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I want to remind you all something. You know what? We need a highlight video. Didn't give away Jeff Ruby's highlight card last week, but uh, you guys give me a highlight from Friday Night Lights or something you like. And uh, pick yourself up 50 bucks. All you got to do is just tag us on Stork Vision, uh, Stork Vision Real, pound Stork Vision Real, and then tag us. Tag me on Twitter and blow it up. Yeah, I need that highlight video. Didn't get one last week, and uh, we kept that $50 to ourselves is what we did. I'm not bashful. <laughs> hey, you know what? They got the best cheeseburger. I mean, it's an experience. It'll buy you a sushi roll. I mean, if you ain't never had the Kirk Herb Street roll or any of them down at Jeff Ruby's, I'm telling you, it's the best in the world. Nothing like eating down there. I, you know what I said? I said if Kevin Wallace comes, we're going to have, we're going to Ruby's. That's what I said. We, if Kevin Wallace comes to Ray Hughes Stadium, we're going to Ruby's. We'd love to see Sanex come here. Jordan James be coming back and Isaiah Horton. Be That'd great. Be a heck of a ball game. That'd be a heck of a ball game, wouldn't it? We just want to take our, we just make sure we get some refs when we go up there. Good pasture 61, CAC 43. Dean Fox, Fox at Rocks has got me some number seven plays, 31 yards, five minutes, 10 seconds, busted off the clock. Oakland 49, Mount Juliet 17. Yeah, that's Levinsky in the ball game. And on the carry right there, you had 29, Giovanni Moody. He's a senior. Giovanni Moody. 45 coming in now, C.J. Puckett. Mount Juliet, you know, you got to give it to them. They had a couple big wins this year. They had a good year. They fought hard. Levinsky wears number 19. Just got beat up a little bit tonight. Yep. Johnny, you wore 19 on yeah, that left did. side. 
He probably doesn't even know who Johnny U is, uh, Anthony. I'm sure he doesn't. <laughs> he might. I don't know. If the kid's a football buff, you never know. All right, third down, third and two. Johnny U's Colts came up here last night. And yeah. <laughs> did a Col number on Colts them, did they? a number on the Titans, but you, you can't take nothing away from Derrick Henry. He's a man. He's yeah, a man. Yeah. He's a man. Oak Ridge 23, Ray County 0. That is over, Sam. Levinsky hands it off. They're giving him a little bit of yardage as he gets up to the 41. Chain gang will move. Box man will reset. But we're down to 157. Here comes number 29 in the ball game, Giovanni Moody. So he's got the play. So Coach Creasy keeping the, the offense coming in. Johnny and Wanda Creasy, I hope I did a good job tonight and brought the game to you. Sam, can we get a final update on Hendersonville Riverdale? Yeah, That's that'd be a big thing. Next yeah. Week. First and 10 now for Oakland. And here they come this way. Oh. Whoa, nice tackle. They gave it to number 33, Anthony, and that's the Davina Villa. Davion, I get it right. Via. Fra oh, Davion Via, thank you. Ravenwood 21, Franklin 21. That's a good game, Sam, on the other side of the bra bracket. We won't see a Williamson County team until you get to the state championship. Max Levinsky. Once worked for a Max on the left side. Oh, football. Whoa. Andersonville's got it. There was no whistle, was there, Anthony? No, there never was. You got that's, that's what they tell you. You play until the whistle. Well, it don't matter. There's 34 Julia. seconds left in this ball game. The Number Fox at rocks. He's going to be getting me the stats. That clock's going to Oh, oh here we go. Now. Big news, stay tuned right here. Sam, big breaking news on that Hendersonville. Javon Nelson is out of the game with an unspecified injury. Javon Nelson for the Riverdale Warrior is out of the game with a specified injury. 11 seconds, 10, 9, 8, it's over. I don't know what they're doing. They're not going to get that playoff, kids. That's it. Ball game. Watch. Thomas Sheer will hold that ball up. That means the ball game is over. When he holds it up in the air, that's the official game. I'm going to wait for those stats from the Fox at Rocks. We're um, we're going to get we're going to get out of here pretty quick. We're going to come back next week. We don't know who it will be, but it's either going to be Hendersonville or Riverdale. But they're coming here. Yeah, they're coming here. Yeah. And yeah, uh, and I, mean, I can't wait for that and. Uh, those kids need to maintain hats, the COVID and just kind of wait. Yeah, hats off to Oakland tonight. They played a heck of a ball game, executed in all three phases. Um, a good season for Mount Juliet. Yep. They won some big ball games this year. It, it comes to an end for them. And, yeah, we're going to catch either uh, either yeah, Henderson Hendersonville or Riverdale. Yep. Whichever one of the two, though, it'll be a good ball game. And yep, I'm, yep. I'm and it'll be, be round be three. Be round three, kids. Right here at Ray Hughes Stadium. Before we get off the air real quick, if I can see if we can get a score on that game. Okay. Appreciate just everybody joining us tonight. Hopefully we did our job. Four minutes ago, my buddy Ed Ross. Riverdale is up 14-7 to on Hendersonville. Riverdale is on the 10-yard line getting ready to score again. Looks like Riverdale might be coming back here, and that's what we want. We want we want a Rutherford County game. We want another Battle of the Borough, and that's what John Jones wants. Our sponsor tonight was John Jones, the man, the engineer, the guy that writes all the apps. That's Sam Montgomery, the Fox at Rocks, and here they come. Our final stats for tonight's ball game. Here oh. we go. We appreciate you, Dean. You're the best. Here we go. These are the final numbers for tonight. First downs, Mount Juliet had six, Oakland had 15. Your rushing yards, Mount Juliet had 79 on the ground, Oakland 323 yards on the ground. Mount Juliet 71 yards in the air, and Oakland had 124. Your total yards for the ball game, Mount Juliet Golden Bears 150, Oakland 447. Uh, Mount Juliet had six penalties for 45 yards. Oakland maintained their penalties, three penalties for 30 yards, and that was holding 
holding, holding. All three, I think, was holding. Yeah. And then the turnovers, Oakland had two and Mount Juliet had one, but those were kind of fluke turnovers. You had the fumble here and then. Uh, th was there was two fumbles late in the game, yeah. Absolutely. But, uh, Once again, the Fox at Rocks runs the stats. We can't thank you enough. My name's Stuart Montgomery, Anthony Finarella, Ren the Color, the lady that operates the camera. Nobody does it like her. That's Judy the Beauty. What do you got, Anthony? Riverdale was held on downs. They didn't get into the end zone, so it's still 14 to 7. Well, that, that we'll just have to wait. Uh, we'll have to but wait until to then, see. we'll see yeah. you next week. Thanks.